Hello, hello. Oh, sorry, there's a candy necklace in my mouth. There we go. Hello, hello. Uh, why why did I get a shout out like four hours ago while I was offline? What? 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 What is this? What did I miss? Uh, anyway, we're playing space exploration today. Uh, sorry, the stream was a little late. Took get getting used to a new exercise schedule, and it has been tough to uh, make my 1 p.m. normal start time. Uh, I'm getting more more used to it, but definitely will probably be a little bit inconsistent start time for a couple more weeks as I get used to that. Um, what is happening here? Is my stream dropping frames? No. Okay, so I did drop down my my upload speed. Okay, the candy necklace. I'm gonna be honest. It's fun. It leaves a weird texture. It, it's it's maybe not the most ideal way to eat candy, or the most sanitary. But I mean, it is fun. It would be more fun if there was a camera, because it's <laughs> there's not an elegant way to do it. Uh, I have no idea what I did last time though. Cryo slush memory cell for rocket parts. Well, I did that one. Oh, wait, I might have done that off stream. I think I did that one off stream. But that one is done. How do I delete it? There we go. Hera needs part delivery. Hera needs a lot of things. That's fine. And then we have a blank data card, LDS galore. I don't really know if we need really LDS or if our base just wasn't running. Blink data cards are definitely running low. That's why we need the cryo slush, I think. Let's see. So we need, oh wait, wait a minute. Okay, maybe cryo slush isn't that important considering this is backed up. Uh, wait, is it a pressure issue? Did I, did I break a pipe? Cause if this isn't running, that's really weird. Oh, I didn't realize I had a limit on this set to 5k. That's silly of me. Uh, let's let's increase that. Okay, that that should help increase our buffer. No no wonder why those are never filling. Okay, so we probably don't need cryo slush immediately, but it is an option. I think it uses less oil. Let's see what does what does sulfuric acid need? That's the real question. It needs iron. It needs sulfur. And it needs water. Water, who actually water is kind of hard to get. The other things aren't that hard, but water is a bit tricky. Then again, we do have access to water ice, which has been depleting, but it's probably probably not depleted a ton. So we can probably afford to use more water because I think heavy oil is a pretty good chunk of our barrels. It would be nice to cut down on that. Because uh, I think we have a better lube recipe and a better thermofluid recipe that we can use. So yeah, we need to figure out how to get that set up. Probably not here. I feel like we're out of um, <clears throat> out of spaces to set it up there. So I guess we can do that over here. That seems like a good spot. Uh, I don't know how much we can afford to uh, make this make this extension considering we have been running on low on LDS for a while. So who knows if that'll actually produce. We, we should have enough in, in buffer. Of course, that also means nothing, no other parts of our base run for a bit, but that's okay. Uh, what What's happening with our LDS production? It is just LDS, right? Yeah, we have very little. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's the train. Oh, that goes fast. Wait, we still have an artillery train? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. The artillery trains break things, but they're not that helpful. So it's uh it's not it's not a great situation. Yeah, rocket parts are bad. LDS uh, LDS is okay actually. LDS is okay. Okay, so I'm dropping a lot of frames. Also, I'm eating a candy necklace, which was way louder than I thought. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot, lots of mistakes right now. Um, let's see. Why is my internet being awful? I need to figure this out. I might have to close some things. Let's see. What can I close? Also, why is it being so bad? Let's see. I have Steam closed, right? 
because normally I close that because a lot of times it decides to either sync cloud saves or download updates for games and that doesn't uh, doesn't bode well for my internet. I mean, I guess technically I'm uploading something at a rate of 64 kilobytes per second. Honestly, that is a third of my that is a third of my upload speed, my um, my streaming speed. Yeah, this is it's it's really I don't know if anyone's noticed. Uh, I haven't really uploaded to my VODs channel recently. It's very difficult to manage a, my VODs channel uh, just in terms of upload speed because it does take. Let's see, I upload at full the full recording resolution, which is four times my streaming resolution, four to five times. So that means about f it takes about four to, five, four to five times longer to upload a video than it does to record it, if I'm uploading at max speed, which means um, since I don't upload at max speed, it takes like basically 10 hours to upload one hour of footage. Yeah, actually, no, probably more like six hours. Yeah, I'd say about six to seven hours to upload one hour of footage. And I have to make sure I stop it while uh, while streaming. So it's it's not great, would not recommend. Uh, this is actually running pretty good though. Although now that I look at it, it's actually probably gonna run out soon, huh? I don't know where this is getting brilliant. I guess it's getting it, oh, it's getting it as it's produced. That's why it's coming in such weird, weird bursts, okay. So we are actually getting enough beryllium. I could expand my rocket part production. Maybe. Let's see, where is it? Because what are we... These are backed up. Um, are we limited by anything else? LDS is fine. I mean, if we make more rocket parts, we do get less LDS going to space science. So until we fix our LDS issue, we don't really have surplus of anything. It looks like we might actually be able to just add a couple more LDS assemblers and call it a day which could be very helpful. So yeah, let's let's do that. Hold on, I'm trying to make it that I don't have to like have my bots pick up the LDS by strategically canceling those. That that might work. Wow, that was uh that was the perfect l distance. <laughs> that was that was completely random, but it worked out worked out great. Also, we'll get more RCs from this, so that's nice. Not necessary, but I'll take it. Yeah, I think those will work. I think that'll work just fine. I don't, I don't know how much that will improve LDS, but it should improve it a little bit. Cause let's see, we went from twelve to sixteen, which I'm assuming we're able to run this much, uh, at least for a little bit. Or we'll realize we have plastic issues now, but who knows? Let's see. Actually, if anything, we'll probably have glass issues. Huh. That's a lot of attacks coming from up there. Can I fit any more turrets? Kind of. Okay, that might help a little. <laughs> yeah, that should be uh, should be perfectly fine. Okay, and then I think that should technically be able to reach. What are these missing? Oh, they're missing RCUs. Well, okay, they're not really missing RCUs. That's not probably not the best word to use for that. Although these are running pretty slowly, so I'm starting to think that our expansion won't do a ton until we add speed modules here, which is very, very viable. Yeah. Although we might run into other issues. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll have to check on it later, see if we're getting more parts. Because I think we're limited by a lot of different things right now that an easy expansion isn't uh, that easy. Oh, we can also do, let's see, upgrade planner could work. Upgrade from prod 2s to prod 3s and speed 2s to speed 3s. This will definitely highlight that we're low on other resources. Yeah, like copper is not holding up. So yeah, <laughs> this is a, maybe not the best, the best solution. Let's see, this is actually split 50-50. This, on the other hand, might have extra copper we can work with. The real question is, how do we get it? That actually is a good question. I think if we go around, now we go down. We have to take a little bit of a manual spaghetti route here. Now we turn this into an underground, which is probably best anyway. And now we go around, now we go down. Now we go down. I, I was hoping there would be an easy place to sideload it, and there really, there really isn't. 
Uh, so we just have to, we just have to keep going. Okay. Because ideally we want to sideload this about halfway, halfway down. If we had a splitter, maybe, maybe we sideload it early. Maybe that's the strat. Uh, I don't know how we're going to clear this belt. Yeah, I don't know exactly how we're going to clear that. Maybe, maybe it's fine. It might clear itself. <laughs> we'll just put that splitter here and hope things don't break. And if they break, well, then they break. There is a small chance that this can be self-clearing if copper is low enough. If not, this stopped running. But that's fine. We upgraded these to speed threes, so we're going to have issues anyway. And then it's, this is only temporary. Once this runs out of copper, everything's good again. Okay. So that should hopefully fix our copper issue. I don't know. It depends if this has enough copper on the belt, which I think it does. It looks like it gets plenty. Uh, let's see. That is not entirely a whole belt. Let's, ah, okay. That's getting, that's getting surplus. Oh, that's fine. We could do this. <laughs> Don't know how much that will help, but I think technically it helps. These can also get speed modules. There we go. <laughs> this is an interesting solution. Yeah, it's a uh, we're we're doing some some spaghetti for sure. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This does the job, maybe. <laughs> it's it's definitely a solution. I, I imagine there's better solutions, but I, I will say this is a fun solution nonetheless. Uh, yeah, these are definitely... Are these output limited? I think those are output limited. Yeah, the speed modules here do nothing. <laughs> there we go. That That's what I need. Okay, um... That does help with the copper balance, I think. It's a weird way to do it, but hey, it works. If it works, it works, right? I'm not going to knock it. These are working okay. Okay. It's, it's so hard to find where bottlenecks are with the spaghetti base. I love it, and I won't change anything, but it's definitely rough. Oh, I did not realize that the copper... Oh, okay. Okay, I, I see. I, I think we can fix it. Ooh, can we fix it in time, though? That's the real question. You're, you're not sure you want to understand what is going on with copper there? Oh, it's, it's not that difficult. Um, no, it, it's, a, it's a pretty straightforward thing going on with copper. Um, I needed another belt, and I didn't want to try to figure out how to make a splitter in here. So I just have inserters stealing from the belt instead. That, that's all it is. And this is equivalent to one splitter. <laughs> without rearranging my assemblers. Because otherwise I would have needed to rearrange the, rearrange the assemblers a little bit. And I just... I don't know. Didn't want, didn't want to do that. Oh no. But midway you decided to use one red? Okay, so the one red assembler... The one red inserter was... Me thinking that... I could get away with not adding that like weird little side belt. Um, but then I, I, I think I needed more copper than that could supply. Uh, so that's why I had to get rid of scrap that idea. Otherwise it probably, Ooh, blue belts are fast. <laughs> I did not realize blue belts were that fast. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, Maybe some rotate rotate errors. That's okay. Let's see, where does this copper? Oh my gosh, this can get so far away. Okay, there is a chance it's gonna be saved here. Okay, if the copper makes it all the way through, it it's gonna be on the priod side for both of these things. So I think we're gonna be okay. There is a chance it can break, but I I think we'll be fine. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the steel that we accidentally sent onto this belt. Actually, that will be fine, too. We're okay. Uh, but yeah, that one red in assembler was inserter woods because... Uh, let's, let's go back to it. Where is it? 
so the only place where I could directly get something onto the far side of the coffer belt was with a red inserter. That's all that was doing. This one red. Uh, and, I, and I guess I could have put it this entire row, but I wanted it to be a 50-50 split-ish between sides. Well, not a 50-50 split. I wanted to grab from this these top ones, too. Uh, but that's what that inserter was doing. It turns out I didn't need that, though, so I got rid of it. Or, or meant to get rid of it, especially because of balancing purposes. It actually wasn't great. <laughs> it's, it's a unique design. We'll, we'll give it that. It's not good. But I just, I just gotta have fun with it. Okay. Oh my gosh, we've been, we've been here this whole time. We could've just walked up and grabbed the copper. <laughs> we were five, we were like five blocks away. Okay, let's, let's not think about that. Uh, we're fine, things happen. Uh, let's go back to what we were working on up here. Which bots are still moving this stuff around. Though I think they cleared it. Okay, so recycling is fine. Let's see, it has, well, this stuff is never fully gonna work, but actually, what is it missing? Force field data. That's this one. Okay, so it's just limited by force field data. It's not that. Okay, it's not, not the end of the world. Uh, so this one's force field, what's it missing? Electromagnetic field data, which is the weird straight line. Okay. Gotcha. So we just don't have enough of this original lane. That makes sense. Uh, there's not much we could do about it. Right? Oh, wait. These haven't had speed mods yet. Okay, hold on. We have a, a cheap solution. Well, easy solution. Okay, it's harder than I thought. We can't really get this to apply to both of them without a redesign. Okay, so this can be moved here. And then we can fit a beacon here. Okay, that doesn't quite fix it because we don't actually have that. But what if we upgrade them to speed threes? I don't know. There, there's a more, more of a chance we have speed threes than there is we have speed twos. Also, speaking of beacons, um, anyone, everyone see the Friday facts this Friday? Yeah, or, you know, I guess any other day since then uh, if you if you didn't watch it on a friday that's also read it on a friday that's also fine but yeah the the beacon changes that they're planning are really cool like uh it's like a uh, it's almost like the space exploration but they have diminishing returns so that way you don't have to worry about doubling up because honestly avoiding doubling up is really annoying so i think i think that'll be fun a cool way to get extra resources You'd hope for a steeper curve. Have they announced like how much of a diminishing return they're gonna have? You did, you didn't agree with their reasons, but you totally agreed with the solution. I, I think their reasons make sense. I I hate late game beacon designs. Um, they're not something that interests me. So I think this was kind of cool. Oh right, square root. Well, they can have a square root and have it be like more than a square root, right? Like, it doesn't, it can also be scaled down more than that. Because there's things you can do with a square root that are still technically square root that make it stronger. Like, add a multiplier somewhere. If you just want to have them be extra weakened uh, by having multiple of them. I don't know if they will, but, like, they don't, they can always make it uh, cha change the values other ways. Okay, we needed, what did we need in space? I wanted to get cryo slush out of the way. You don't spell it with a K. <laughs> you think I'd have learned by now. Okay, so we need cryonite and sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid needs, I almost looked up the recipe for sulfuric acid. I'm going to though, just in case there's a new recipe. In actually, is there? I haven't seen one, but it would be cool if there's a different sulfuric acid recipe. That's, that does not does not look like it. They said the reason ignored the cost of the build and opportunity cost of building more assemblers. There's a reason the 12 8 beacon designs are rarely in use in the speedruns. 
Yeah, I mean, and when it comes to like any change, for the most part, I, I don't tend to care too much about how effect speed runs. Uh, that's not an official Factorio link. Also, it doesn't let me access it anyway, so whatever that CDN is, broke it? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that, that link doesn't work for me either. Maybe if we remove CDN from it? No. Yeah, be, because it's not like, because it has CDN in the front, it doesn't work. Well, okay, I don't mean... <laughs> um, that interesting. Did you try to post it again? <laughs> Wait, ew, hold up. I don't think they were banned, so I don't know if that did anything. It was just a timeout. Uh, yeah, I, I hadn't given the allowance, so <laughs> yet. So, so posting the second time doesn't work. Well, let's take it back in time. There, there's the allowance. But yeah, opportunity cost. I think their reasoning is that once you get that late game, opportunity cost doesn't matter that much, right? So. Like, I'm sure it matters in speedruns, but I, I feel like most people getting to the point where they're using beacons don't care about the cost of a beacon or the cost of an assembling machine. Because that's usually not a huge factor in mega bases, right? Like, cost just doesn't matter too much. You're not discussing speedrun impact, you basically said the optimization doesn't work that way. But their optimization is just for, like, making it interesting, right? Like, as opposed to optimizing for resources, they just want them to be fun to use. Which I think is a... It's not, like, a mathematical reason. But it is, I think, kind of interesting. Let's see. The ban is your own mistake. You should have known that it would not... Oh, yeah. I have that ban harsher, actually. Um, <laughs> spelling word for word is like an instant... Instant ban. <laughs> as opposed... Or an instant timeout, as opposed to... Um, using an actual link, which is only like five seconds. <laughs> I, I discourage that. Because it's just, you know, generally speaking... A way to get around it <laughs> as opposed to just a mistake <laughs> at that point but obviously it's not like your band band so it's not like they're harsh just a little little longer of a timeout yeah I I can just post the link let's see I still have it uh, this is the graph that was discussion that uh, my modder my auto mod did not like Ooh, I forgot about legendary beacons Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't mean like it's not the factorial website. I just mean it's not, it's not considered a factorial website link by the bot. That yeah, I, I wasn't doubting that you got it from the website when when I meant official. I, I guess official is a bad word. Uh, a standard like a standard link from their websites. That, that's what I was trying to get at. The yeah, I chose chose bad words there. My my bad. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it only works if it's Factorio is the first word. Factorio.com with like nothing in between. Do they use that? Do they use that link a lot for things? Is that what they use all their all their figures are? Any image did and video, okay. Uh, then I'll add that to the allow list. Spam protection. Blacklist phases. Blacklist. Oh, that's that's blacklist, not whitelist. There we go. <laughs> it almost made it worse. <laughs> 
Factorio. Okay. Okay, it should be good now. Again, you do agree with the solution. The new mechanics are much more interesting. It will make the designs more challenging in a good way. Yeah, diminishing returns. The way I look at it, I just think... I, I like the space exploration approach a lot, but I don't like how you have to avoid overlap. So I, I would be fine with just not having any, like... Uh, diminishing... Just having the second beacon give like a zero effect or almost none because I really like this this setup so it's cool that we have a, a similar approach now in vanilla but even even cooler because diminishing returns means there actually is some benefit to stacking it okay so parts protection seems to be a lot better it might be worth looping this again just because I'm producing so few parts but it I don't think it's that important okay let's get a biochem facility also, where is Lou being handled? You could do that for the domains. Uh, that one I don't want to do. Because that's a bit too flexible. But I feel like I've seen non-official Factorio links that look like that. Or maybe they're just similar. I guess as long as .com is in there, that's decent. Because there's, what is it, the, um, the Factorio benchmark calculator, I think. I mean, that's factorial, that's factorialbox.com, so I guess that would probably be banned. So yeah, it would, it would probably be fine. Ooh, things are still beeping. Okay, so we need to figure out what to do about lube. Wait, hold on, how do we, okay. We need sulfuric acid, we need cryo slush. We need cryo slush to be here and here. Or maybe we change where lube is? I guess lube, I guess lube doesn't need to be here. You're so scared to write that in chat. Yeah. <laughs> I guess... Yeah, I guess it doesn't register star dot. Which is weird, because it, it will recognize typos as like accidentally typing like dot i, but, you know, some things are okay. Link links are weird in, in Twitch sometimes. But yeah, we need uh, we need biochem facilities over here to get lube. Okay, you know what? This will also get our steel in a much better position, won't it? Actually, yeah. Okay, I like this. Maybe we can move all of our barrel processing over here. Hello, Pantabo. Welcome, welcome. Uh, and then we need to leave a gap because every time we don't leave the gap, the game breaks. That's that's something we definitely need to do. Uh, we need an unbarreler. Wait, is this a barrel or an unbarreler? This one's an unbarreler. Okay. <laughs> I like how I'm saying it. Like that's, like that's an actual word that people use. Maybe maybe to some degree. Oh no, not star. Well, yeah, no, I, I I wouldn't do that. I know enough to not do that much. But I was mostly worried about if somebody has like a blog that ends with, like their own personal thing that just has Factorio.com somewhere in it. But that probably, but because of, because com is there, it would probably be okay. Probably. But until I until I see other exclusions that need it, it's not it's not super high on the list. Uh, it, if people get temporarily timed out because I don't have every exception there, I I'm not bothered by it. <laughs> it's not it's not the end of the world. So where we're good. Ooh, wait, what is this? You can do oil processing in space? I mean, I guess that makes sense. I just never tried. So these are refineries and chem plants in one? Huh. I don't think I'm going to do anything with that information, but that's cool. Again, I clicked on the wrong thing. Okay, which one is unbarreling? Wait, I'm not looking for unbarreling. What am I looking for? Yeah, that one is weird. That, that one's weird to me. <laughs> 
The, the amount of things that they do register as the same, and then that one makes it through, is very bizarre. <laughs> Okay, I think I see why this doesn't make sense. I don't need these chem plants. Yep, that, that would do it. Okay. Now we need to get this steel... Okay, so yeah, this... Maybe we need a different barrel recycling facility, because right now our barrel recycling is very much not expandable. And backs up in one specific spot. And we are not using nearly enough steel. There's a lot of issues, actually. Hmm. We really do not use enough steel. How do I use more steel without using everything else? <laughs> it feels... Feels tricky. Okay. Uh, but at least we have this, this whole area to work with, which is nice. Okay, so this will be getting heavy oil. Which will unbarrel. Wait... What am I turning? Oh, I'm turning heavy oil into lube, right. And then we also need sulfuric acid, so we also need a water barrel over here. Which I guess we can just use this recipe. Wait, do we use water barrels? No, we don't use water barrels. That's dumb. Uh, we use cosmic ice, or whatever it's called. Water ice? Okay, so we do need a kim plant here, which honestly one is probably sufficient. And we also need sulfur and iron, okay. Uh, sulfur and iron, both fairly easy to get over here. So let's make another belt. We're actually going to move this down one tile. Actually, no. Uh, we'll do a sulfur belt here. Okay, and then barrels we're just going to keep here. Should I rearrange every fluid? I, I probably don't need to rearrange every fluid. No, that would be silly. We could, though. Also, I'm eating a candy necklace right now that I try to mute sometimes when I eat it because it's really loud when it crunches through. <laughs> uh, this um, it's a very sub suboptimal way to eat candy, but it's so fun. He picks them up for Easter, just because it had a bunny on it. Oh gosh, the candy is so dry though. It's it's not the it's there's really not much flavor in the candy. It's really just something you do for fun. But yeah, we need a we need a central unbarreling facility. Honestly, yeah, let's do that. I I think we're gonna have pressure issues if we do it this way, but it it, it happens. Okay, so what do we have being shipped by barrels? Right, that that's the first question. We have heavy oil, we have petroleum, we have light oil, and I think that's it. Ooh, wait. How did that happen? Oh, <laughs> fun. That is uh, not correct. <laughs> okay, uh, can I fix this easily? I, I think I can, yeah. Maybe not easily, uh, this fixes it. Yeah, that works, that works. And if we leave it, we leave it. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Okay, yeah, we definitely had those swapped. Uh, probably didn't break anything just because it was put, like, in the middle somewhere. But there, there is a possibility that something somewhere is very broken. <laughs> Yikes, actually. I guess we'll find out if we suddenly stop producing multispectral mirrors and flat solar panels. Okay. So back to unbarreling. We have three fluids. Is that all? And then lube, which we don't ship by barrels. Okay. We, we do not have a lot of space to work with for the project that we are about to undergo. <laughs> so we'll see how it works. This is also like the worst spot I probably could have done it. But uh, yeah, actually, you know what? It's not too late to change it. Let, let's not do it up here. Because uh, we have a nice, nice spot right here that we can do the barreling. Which just seems a whole lot nicer. We do need to move these around. But that's okay. Uh, that was not supposed to be deleted. These were... 
because I want, I want to use this space because this has heavy oil right here. So that way we don't have to completely break everything we love right now. And then this has two of the barrels we need. Actually, yeah, this has access to all the barrels we need. Yeah, this is a great spot for it. Okay, one. Two, how do I make this expandable? Well, they need a fluid output. So something like this could work. I want it set up in a way that if I have to add more assembling machines, I can. Uh, that won't work. Wait, none of these, none of these work. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, the output is in the middle, not on the side. Oh, that is very unfortunate. Okay, so we'll just, uh, we'll just use an extra pipe every time then. Because I want it to be an easy expansion. Look at us thinking about the future for once. Okay, now I can copy it. It's a little, it's a little funky, but it works. We'll, we'll, we'll take it. And now output, it actually needs to be a little bit lower. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so first one, let's do heavy oil. That's not heavy oil. Heavy oil, light oil, we'll just keep them together. Honestly, if we have a third one here, that would be great. Ooh, wait, I can do a third one. Ooh, wait, we can do all three in one row. That was the wrong button, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we can do all three in a row. I, I, I see... I see a clean line here. Uh, this is probably ter absolutely terrible for pressure though. Okay, so now the, the way we have it set up, I actually want inputs here, and then this is supposed to be petroleum. That's the wrong kind of petroleum. There we go. Wait, does it default to having output on top and input on the bottom? Or other way around? I've never really noticed. Okay, so these need inputs, inputs, and an input. Wait, no, output, 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 output. These aren't supposed to be here. This is supposed to be output, output, or input, input, output. Okay. I think that works. So we have light oil, heavy oil, and then this top row is petroleum and steel, or petroleum and barrels. Yeah, I think that works. Would it be better to just have a... I, I think it would be better to have a third row, actually. Because I think having barrels go the same direction as the inputs is not a good idea. Well, yeah, let's just use the extra belt. So now we shift it down one more tile. So now we just take this out input, no output, and then input up top. There we go. Uh, I think this makes more sense to me. The order is a little bit funky. <laughs> Let's see, which one's easiest to break off of? I guess that's what the real question is. Actually, does it matter where barrels go? Yeah, I don't know why I care. Oh, wait, what if I do outputs on the bottom? Is that something I can do? Not really, but technically, yes. I don't know. I, I'm, this is like the general unbarreling facility, so maybe I don't need to make it this uh this weird also i don't know what a belt of barrels can support we might actually be belt limited at some point what is 45 barrels per second anyway like that's not a ton of fluid i guess it's like three pipes never mind it's it's a fair amount of fluid i i don't like this inserter layout we'll, we'll go with the two pipe system or the two-belt system. Pi pipe's gonna go the same direction. The world won't end. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I, I'm, I'm okay with it. That's a better way to phrase it. And then... Don't know what I thought that would do. Uh, this isn't very copy and pasteable without manual intervention, so... It was if we keep the same pattern. So let's wait. Let, let's get rid of these extra pipes. They don't do anything. Because we have to manually fix things anyway. Perfect. Okay. 
And then steel can be recycled over here. And then honestly, the best way to recycle something, I think, is to send it directly back into... Well, if we can get the inputs, if we can get enough input speed, putting it back into the cargo landing pad seems to be the best way to balance it. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, okay. So this is an easy... Wait, these are already on the same belt. So if those are already on the same belt, let's... Uh, Let's not worry about changing it. Okay, so we need an underground. And we need an... I cannot tell which direction these go. <laughs> these are going. Uh, I think it's that way. Then a splitter, and then we send it down, and we'll eventually have a prio, and we'll eventually delete this. Once we figure out where these fluids go. And uh, that's... That's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. Uh, we have to somehow connect these fluids to the main base. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to happen, but we're, we'll figure it out. I wonder what we use light oil for. We, we have a long way to go with this pipe. A long way to go. Let's see, does this work? Okay, sure, that, that works. That wasn't what I was supposed to do, but it still works. <laughs> we can still say that. Okay, and then this is supposed to be heavy oil barrels and barrel output. So this needs a splitter going on to the bottom half. That's easy enough. Okay, cool. And now I can unbarrel everything. Yeah, we are 100% going to be barrel. <laughs> We're going to be uh, belt limited here, aren't we? I don't know. May maybe we won't. Maybe we won't be. It, it feels like we're we're going to back up on things, but I think we'll realize pretty quickly we don't use 2,000 of every fluid. And then we'll have other issues. I guess we can always split off the barrels and recycle them locally. I wonder... How... how f can I do barrels on this other side? I guess I can. I kind of want barrels on the same side. Wait, how did that... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm so bad about hitting hitting the inserter hitbox. Okay, maybe that's that's okay. I don't know where those they're taking those. Yeah, it's not where I wanted them to be. But yeah, now that, now that I've set this up, I actually do want the inserters over here. It just seems easy easier to manage. There we go. And now I guess they can just use regular inserters. Otherwise, we have to use undergrounds. We don't really have a ton of those, so I guess we'll just use medium power poles. I like medium power poles, all right. There we go, and then there we go. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Oh, wait. Actually, can we get... Is there a better spot for it? Yeah, there is. Okay. We're, we're trying to make this one un neat for absolutely no reason. That's a first. I feel like we don't normally uh, do that. We're not necess It's not necessarily good, but it will be neat for what it is, and that... That counts for something. We'll we'll take those vins. We we don't get them very often. And now we have a way we can process barrels. Once we figure out how to get recyclers. Yeah, not sure exactly how we'll do that, but it seems manageable. Also, we need I want a stack inserter here and a stack inserter. Actually, we don't need the double outputs. That will give us the ability to do more stack inserters feeding into it. So we can have like a splitter here, or we can go under. There we go. This will <laughs> this is our recycling belt. It seems very weird now that I've set it up, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad design. It's just a little bit, a little bit unusual. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, barrel recycling can be here. Let's see. I, I still don't know where we have a barrel recycler. I really was not expecting to use so many barrels. I, I like how I'm doing this when I'm pretty sure we're, we're, we're fairly close. We're, we're definitely fairly close to getting access to... I can't think of the word. Not substation. Um, monorails? No. 
Space elevators. We're, we're pretty close to space elevators, and this becomes completely obsolete uh, once we just start piping barrels up here. <laughs> or once we just start piping fluids up here. However, this will give us pipes to connect to for those trains. So it's still fine. Like, it's not a complete waste. But it's definitely nearing the unnecessary territory. Also, where is a mo where is a beacon I can use? This one? Yeah, perfect. Okay, uh, a speed 3 beacon for my recycling cycling facility seems a bit excessive. But I think we have speed 3s. Well, we don't have our speed 2, so maybe that's fine. Wow, these are slow. Now I'm remembering why we needed more barreling facilities. Because this is awful. <laughs> I will actually send it this way so we can expand it more. Also, I guess it doesn't help that we don't have speed mods. But yeah, this is this is rough. Uh, these aren't powered. That's fine. We can fix that. Okay. So heavy oil, I think we use in two different spots, which that actually is kind of rough. And then we also need lube, which I'm realizing now we don't really have space for lube here anymore. So I think we'll have to alternate recycling facilities and lube assemblers. Cool. Uh, so lube needs cryo slush, right? Which means we need to make the cryo slush before anything gets done. Yeah, okay. So cryo slush can be here, and then we can pipe it all the way over here, because it also needs to go down here. <laughs> this is such a mess. Uh, well, we need water up here. Okay, let's do let's do water. Iron. And we also need iron and sulfur on that belt. Yeah, we're just, we're just going to start pasting things, and they'll probably work out. I, I think that's a good bet. Okay, so first things first, water. And then... That can go straight into the chemical, the sulfur plant. Actually, I think it can go straight into the sulfur plant. We might as well. So this produces cosmic water for us, this produces sulfuric acid, and then sulfuric acid can go straight into... We'll leave, we'll leave a gap, actually. We, we should have a gap between all of these. Density does not matter, and this gives us the ability to actually have a pipe go somewhere, which is much more useful. Why is that uh, taking so long to move, though? Okay, pipe, pipe, pipe. I don't know which one of these is going to be the input, but pro probably all of them, actually. <laughs> probably all of them. What's that sound? Oh, I think someone's using the vacuum. Okay, so water, which is this one, and then that goes into sulfuric acid, which goes into cryo slush. So yeah, we need water, cryonite rods, and let's see, are we going to be crafting speed limited? Probably. We'll, we'll do two inputs on each. I, I think we'll need, uh, I think we'll definitely need modules here. Okay, uh, I like that. That gives us something we can use. And now we need to send this so, so far away. This is not going to work well. Should I barrel it? No, that seems dumb. No, that's dumb. <laughs> Is it though? I mean, we don't have water pressure issues with barrels. So that's something. But yeah, it seems it seems a bit silly considering that's what we were trying to fix. Okay, it looks like we can cut across any one of these. So let's, let's cut across this one. Okay, we the one I want to cut across is the one where we don't have don't have this going far enough. Cool. <laughs> glad glad we chose the perfect spot for it. Oh, wait. Wait, how do I cut across this? I, I think we've had this issue before. How did we fix it with this? Actually, we didn't. We didn't fix it. Ooh. Um I guess that's fine. <laughs> That's not what I intended to do, but... Nope, we did it again. <laughs> I, I did not realize we had fixed it immediately. 
Okay, things would be so much better if we had a one tile gap between these. I think for future ones, we need to have that gap. And yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Wow, these are such terrible pipes, aren't they? I feel like we can still go through here. Let, let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Okay, it immediately doesn't work. If these go up a few tiles, may, maybe it's fine. I wish I could say this one was fine, but this one, this might not be. Okay, so uh, this is only one of the three fluids we have to move across our base. So I'm starting to think that this was a this was a mistake. <laughs> but who knows? We might be able to make it work. Okay, so this thing I think we have to cut. Or at least move. Wait, can we just move it one tile? We don't need that, right? We don't need, uh, we don't need throughput here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't need throughput. We'll be fine. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it works. Probably. <laughs> At what cost? I don't know, but... It works. That's what matters. Also, I don't know how, but we managed to cut that from our toolbar. The one thing that we needed to keep there. Okay, so this should be making cryonite slush at some point and at an unknown speed with unknown pressure. I, I think we're going to have to add some pumps because, uh, yeah, these are not going to these are not going to transfer things very well, but it's a start. Okay, so I need iron and sulfur on one belt, which I think I realized was going to be pretty easy, actually. Oh, that is a... this is a very weird design that is actually very problematic. Because <laughs> it, uh, it definitely looks like things... things are working or broken when they're not. <laughs> that seems like something I'd make. Okay, let's see. We need stack filter inserter, stack filter inserter. Okay, this gets us iron and sulfur which we can send up here and make another slightly problematic looking build. Excellent. Yeah, we really, really just embrace the sushi these days. Or spaghetti. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess it's technically embracing the spaghetti when we realize we built it, or sushi when we realize I built it wrong. It's like, well, there, there's some argument to be made that I didn't misspoke. <laughs> Misspeak. Close enough. Okay, and then this one needs stack output. Okay. And there we go. That works. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And then we can always give it more output if it needs. Actually, it probably needs more. We'll, we'll double it. Because I think sulfuric acid works pretty fast. There we go. Would it be better if we use a splitter? Yes, but it works fine this way. Maybe. Eh, probably probably works fine. Okay. Uh, that is sulfuric acid down, so now we just need to get Cosmo water and Cryonite here, which I still don't know how to spell. I know it's not that important, but I'm still not convinced it's spelled with a K. Or is a C. Despite typing it so many times. Okay, that works. Yeah, okay, this works. This works great. So now if we can get water onto this, let's see, the left side of the belt, we're good. Now we only have one spot in our base that's mining cryo water. Cry at night? <laughs> that that's how I'll remember that it's spelled with the C. <laughs> it's it's just like me for real for real. <laughs> whenever I realize this is how my base is made <laughs> and, I, and I have to live with that. <sighs> okay, so we can get this up there, no problem. No problem, right? <laughs> Actually, it's, a, it's much more viable than I thought it was. See, look at that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <sighs> Perfect. <laughs> feel like it shouldn't work, but it does. Uh, we are definitely going to run out of water at some point. I, I think we need to work on getting a water 
a water belt somewhere, but that's fine. Okay, uh, that has everything it needs other than power. Can a substation go through it? No. So we'll put a substation up, t up here. Ooh, that doesn't connect. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now we don't need a new connection. Okay. We'll see. We'll see if this works. Oh my gosh, it actually does. I, I don't know how well it works. Uh, this is... Wow, this uses a lot of sulfur. I, I guess it is the equivalent of like four, four assembly machines. Uh, these should be stack inserters actually with how fast it goes. And then... I, I think this is a much slower recipe. So long inserters work there. This is an insanely fast recipe, but it's so... It's so efficient that uh, I don't think we need to worry about it, but we can do that. Yeah, that, that works. Okay, so we have cryo slush, and it should be making its way across the base. Excellent. Okay, so now we can make lube for cheaper. Oh yeah, that's what this is all about. <laughs> this is literally what all of this was for. Okay, so now we delete all of these. And we just have to hope that it works, because... Yeah, I because we cut it. So if it if it doesn't work, we just don't have any any production in our base. <laughs> so we're, we're putting a lot of faith in it, but it's probably fine. There we go. The cryonite can connect, I guess, on the side. Probably, and then this I want. We don't really have a have a space we can tessellate yet for the heavy oil. So we're just gonna place it here, and hope it doesn't break. <laughs> Can it go one tile over? Yes, it can. Okay. How much does this produce? I, I guess the first question is, is it faster than lube or is it just cheaper? I did not see it. Okay, where's lube? Loon? Where's loon? Five seconds? Oh, it is not faster. It's actually really slow. It's still probably fast enough. We'll, we'll put a tank, I, I think is a good idea. Just, <laughs> I could just speed nine it. May maybe not speed nine it, but we could just speed model it, module it, true. Yeah, that's fine. Honestly, we really don't use a ton of lube. I, I think lube is occasionally for chemical gel. I actually don't know what we use it for. But yeah, we can leave it. Uh, also, we should, if we do it up here, we can make it expandable. Which is another option over speed 90 it. <laughs> which, I don't know, that... That name sounds dirty to me. I, 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 I think I know why. <laughs> it just, I, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I think it's just the, the alliteration. Not alliteration, but the, but the words it shares number. Words letters with okay so lube is well i say it's cheaper it uses cryonite instead of instead of heavy oil i, I still haven't I, I still don't know if that's actually better it's just a different resource but it seemed like we were having barrel issues so this should hopefully reduce the amount of barrels we need that's the main thing a slight reduction in barrels or actually a fairly significant reduction in barrels because we were using way, way too many at, at, a, at very non-ideal spots, too. Okay, so those are gonna... We don't have beacons. We don't have speed modules. Okay, we definitely need a rocket part delivery. Also, what do space elevators need still? I think we need... Material 2? Yeah, we need Material 2. That'll be our next goal. We're gonna actually add that. Move that up. Material science two for space elevators. Because I feel like I'll keep doing other things instead if I don't make that top priority. I mean, I still probably will do other things instead, even with that, even with it at the top of the list. But that helps. Uh, it also needs two thousand. I don't know why I thought it would be fifty. A lot of other researches are like fifty. So yeah, that's just gonna be pricey. 
Honestly, this is really slow. I've never seen lube recipes be slow before. Okay. Um, now we need to figure out how to connect the petroleum and the light oil. Okay, so petroleum, I think I see... We unbarrel it here. Okay, so if we can get this pipe over here, we're good. Actually, that's not too bad. I think we have to move this. And by move, I just mean delete it. And then we're probably okay. Can this reach? No. Unfortunate. Hmm, okay. These barrels are so... Are, are there longer, long space pipe to grounds? Are those a thing? Do those exist? Because that would be super helpful right now. Okay, what can we do? This can be moved. Probably. No. No, not really. <laughs> of course they don't exist. Yeah. That's that's unfortunate. You, you never know. Sometimes this mod actually has things for you. Oh, wait, wait. I see. I see where I can go through. <sighs> yeah, sometimes the mod isn't mean. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I knew that would happen, but I just kind of rolled with it. That's fine. Do you think space fights come with any room for mercy if they don't even have room for liquids? <laughs> That's true. I, I was expecting a bit much of them, huh? Okay, well then we will make it work like we always do. Terribly, but technically working. That is our goal <laughs> with every build. Okay, I think this is it. I, I think this is fine. And now we can just cut this whenever we're ready. And look at that, we even got our uh, underground ultra pipes back out of it. Oh wait, this doesn't work. Uh, but it's not, like, unfixable. We just have to wait for them to decon that, and then, yeah. Okay, we're good. And we're good for now. We still have the entire rest of the petroleum pipe. So, like, we, we might not be fine, but we're fine for now. And this goes here. Okay, one of three connected. Actually, wait, heavy oil is... Yeah, one of three connected, because heavy oil is also needed over here. <laughs> cool. Would, who Actually, we already have a heavy oil barrel belt. It might be worth keeping this one, because most of our heavy oil, I think, went into lube. Ooh, this is starting to back up, though. That's a good sign. Okay, I, I, I see this. I think we can make this work. We're going to have such terrible pressure issues. We also, we haven't made the, um, the better pipes yet. We should probably do that. Especially since we have a uh, mall, quote unquote, <laughs> is a word we might be able to use. Let's see, what what do they what are they? Oh yeah, those are super easy to do. One, two, three, four, five. There's five different lengths, okay. Yeah, uh, that's actually you know what, I don't want these to be <laughs> space manufactories. That is very space inefficient for what this is. Let's do space assembly machines instead. And we'll just do them here. Can I get, ooh wait, can I get six going from a single chest? I might be able to, if I have a requester strong box. This, <laughs> this is not a great design, but it is fun. It feels efficient, even if it's not. <sighs> That's what matters, right? It's all about the feeling. We've also never used these pipes in our life. Let's see, do we have requester strong box? Of course you don't. Uh, we might have one that's on us. Oh, we're not in space. Oh, that's fine. Uh, then I have a different solution in mind. We take a splitter. And we realize that the underground's happening in the perfect spot. Okay. Can that reach? Yes. Okay. I mean, look, it does work. 
I don't think that's necessarily good. But it does work. And that's what matters. And look, we didn't even use we didn't use a requester chest. That means it that means it's a good design. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. <laughs> I like I'm happy with that. Even if it's a little bit um a little bit a little bit special. <laughs> okay, so we fixed our heavy oil production, which means we can get rid of this. I don't know if fix is the right word. We changed our heavy oil production. Uh, hopefully these aren't critical power poles. They're definitely critical power poles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, and this is why we had to redesign it, because this barrel stuff was getting very um, not balanced. I think technically that will fix itself. Honestly, our biggest issue is we just don't use enough steel. But now we have to use like 300... We have to use 30,000 more steel without producing any... Without consuming any... Sorry, we have to use 30,000 more barrels without consuming any steel before this is a problem again. Which I feel like that's a big ask. Then again, our recycling has always been problematic, so who knows. Let's see, is petroleum good now? I think petroleum's good. Okay, so let's try to find light oil. Oh gosh, wait. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You know, I think this maybe might have been a mistake. I feel like it probably would have been easier to just reroute pipes, but that's reroute some some barrel assemblers or barrel belts. I mean, it's not too late. So like if we can route this over here, that is technically easier than fixing everything everything than three than fixing two pipes i i think that's a good start because i don't really want to reroute these pipes right now so instead we are going to send a barrel train somewhere or not barrel train but barrel delivery system somewhere okay so this is this can be deleted this can be deleted and then we will centralize them into Oops, that's not right. One one segment here. Perfect. Okay. This looks much more manageable. I really hope we don't have barrel. I don't think we'll have barrel or pipe. Not not barrel speed. Um, I don't think we'll have belt throughput issues for barrels. That would be very bizarre. Also, this still has not burned through all the military science that I actually brought up here. I do like how we can see where this red belt, or this red, um, <laughs> this passive provider is technically critical for some of my, some of my circuit logic, uh, and I didn't want to reroute it. Uh, I think I can just say these connect here, and then I think things don't break. Because it will be nice to finally get rid of this giant thing going through our base. Is this, does this do anything anymore? What is this design? This looks like a design I would make. I'll say that. It does look like a design I'll make. I made. It's just a little bit, a little bit funky. Okay, so that cleans it up a bit. Okay, there we go. That goes this much, much cleaner spot to route our barrel through. Perfect. Okay, and now we just need to get the barrels over here. Ooh, wait, wait. I see the line. I see it. No, we, we've got this. Because we're moving the barrel assembler, right? So we can just delete that. Honestly, we can just delete that too. And now, centralized barrel processing. Yeah, that's what we were working on the whole time. We, we definitely were not doing anything to centralize the unbarreling. We just need to centralize the barrels themselves. We'll, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll pretend that's what we were doing. It might not have been the actual goal, but... It, it was definitely a better goal to uh, to go to go to to go to towards the end to go to <laughs> that uh, pronunciation was rough. Hold on, I need some water. I don't know what this pipe this belt is, but it doesn't seem to do anything. I think oh, this is my old 
Okay, this is my old, um... I don't know what it is, but... Oh, it was my old, um, lube pipe. And I think that's all that was on here. Lube and LDS, which we definitely don't get there anymore, so we can delete that. Look at that, we're slowly cleaning up our base. Well, okay, cleaning may not be an accurate word. <laughs> we're we're clean, clearing up some of our base so we can delete it all later. Wow, was this really a lube pipe? A lube belt? No, this isn't. Oh, wait, this is the LDS belt. Wait, it didn't do anything down at the bottom, though, did it? I'm so confused. What what does LDS do? <laughs> was LDS used for something here? Oh, it was. But that's fine. We can still we can still get it down here. A little bit a little bit easier too. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then LDS is here. There we go. Now, now it's much, much clearer where it goes. Okay, slightly clearer where it goes. Still not as clear is probably the wrong word. Let's see, this steel comes from elsewhere, right? Yeah, okay, that steel can, that steel is fine. I think we can just delete that. Bots probably won't be happy with that, but bots are never happy with me, so that's okay. Okay. So how's the barreling coming along? Okay, barrel processing seems good. We somehow got some speed twos, which means we are definitely using most of our speed twos in barreling. Wanted to ask when Woob offering you a job for main menu screens. <laughs> Can you imagine if this base was on the main menu for Factorio? Which to be honest, they I have seen some of their build or some of their uh their main menu screens, a lot of them don't actually do anything. Like, if you look closely at some of them, they don't actually go anywhere. So I guess it it probably matches up pretty well with the quality of some of those builds. So that's something. <laughs> yeah, maybe not, maybe not a great selling. Maybe not a great brag, <laughs> but it's, it, we'll, we'll take what we get. Okay, so hopefully all the barrels eventually make their way back to that central processing facility now. Because I think they all led to this belt. So yeah, they should be fine. I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out. Okay, so now all the reason we did all of this work was to move this over here and make this cheaper which we're not really that limited on it anymore so i think it was kind of not <laughs> it, it turns out we weren't limited on this we just had a pipe here that didn't let it produce that much so uh we, we really didn't need to do most of this work but hey we uh we started it we're going we're rolling with it so we need let's see we need copper plates iron Chemical gel, sulfur. Okay, so four of these things are already up here. Or three of these things are already up here. So we just need to get the two fluids. So we need to get the two difficult things up there. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Can we get heavy oil over here easily? Probably not. We could do a heavy oil pipe. I think a heavy oil pipe could work. And then a chemical gel pipe. Uh, we can just continue this one. I don't think I don't see myself getting two pipes through here, but I do see myself getting one. It requires us to delete some things, but that's okay. Okay, so we need iron, sulfur. Okay, so that's actually easy enough to just kind of loop around. We'll take that, and then iron, sulfur, and then copper. Which copper we can get from... Actually, I don't know where we get copper. Let's follow this belt. Where does copper go? Copper is here. Okay. 
Can this be moved one tile? Oh, it can. Okay. Perfect. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that works. That works perfectly. It's exactly what I wanted with that. Awesome. <laughs> uh, we do need to change the recipe, but other than that, this works great. Do we actually have another one we can copy? I don't think we do. At least not by the time that the bots will just place that. I guess we'll see. We can try to track it down. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, we beat the bots. Bar barely, but we did beat the bots. Yeah, we barely beat the bots. Like, literally by seconds, I think. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, so far, so good. And then let's see what else it needs. This is for producing thermofluid using cryonite slush. That is so many fluids. Absolutely terrifying. I don't like that. <laughs> Uh, also, how fast is this? I know this is slightly cheaper. I don't know if it's fast. Let's see. I think fluids coming from the bottom makes more sense. Yeah, we have more space to work with there. Uh, these need another tile in between, though. Just so I can use the outputs. Okay. Output, input, or input, input, and a pipe, or power pole. Okay. Okay. That's good. Uh, this is not working. Ah, <laughs> I thought it was so perfect. Unfortunate. That's fine. Oh wait, that doesn't work. Okay, nah, now it works. Things might be sideloaded incorrectly, but that's fine. We can just extend it a tile. Okay, I am happy with that. For some reason. <laughs> Ooh, I know what we can do. Wait, can we do that? Um, maybe I should have uh, double-checked that it worked before I confidently said, I know what I can do. <laughs> like, I made something functional for once. There we go. This, now, now it works. Wait, is that water or is that cryo slush? Huh. Why is it not outputting? Is it the, is the production just so low that it can't output all of them at once? That's fantastic. We definitely have enough here then. Okay, let's add a speed module. That will help a little bit. I mean, it will actually help like 80%. Uh, same with down here. I'll, although we're not limited on lube anymore. But we can fix all the barrels. Okay, I'm, I'm very confused why barrels are not an issue anymore with two assembling machines. Because we had like four barrel assemblers at some point, and they were not working well enough. And now they're just like, we're using less than a quarter of that, because they were also moduled. So I'm assuming the parts for base that are fluid heavy were just working really hard the last time we looked at it. But we don't always need that production. So it may be a little bit... Might have been... Uh, this might have been a slightly unnecessary improvement. But that's fine. Also, we definitely need a tank for this. Because the pressure is so or the production is so low. So let's do let's do a few tanks so it can kind of like catch up and barrel buffer things. Okay. So chemical gel is here. We need to get that up top and we need to get heavy oil. Honestly, I think heavy oil we can probably get through here. You know, we're just going to delete this and see what happens. Yeah, not not much, but uh, I, I, I think we can do it. Look, there's a spot right here for one fluid. Okay, so that's one of three. Uh, yeah, one of three. That's maybe not a great... Maybe not a great hit right there but yeah one of three <laughs> it's almost all of it it's really close to 100 percent if you consider 100 percent to be 30 percent that does that work <laughs> can, can we make that assumption maybe not wait what is this this these produce heavy oil where did these go what do we do with this 
What do we do with this lube? Does this actually go into our base? We somehow managed to connect a lube, well, a lube pipe into our entire base. That's impressive, actually. Uh, and surprising. I, I think my standards are low if I think that's impressive, but hey. We take it. 30% is 100% with enough proclamation. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, this is the wrong fluid, but that's fine. Yeah, the, the more, the closer you are to an engineer, <laughs> the the closer that approximate, the more that engineering is accurate, or more that approximation is accurate. Or the, the closer you are to, like, a practical engineer, as opposed to, I guess, software engineering probably doesn't need to make those approximations. I don't know, maybe you make those in a software engineering too. But, like, chemical engineering or something, approximations are great. Anything where you're making a, some kind of like chemical, chemical plant, or uh, supporting a building, which is like, oh, well, it can probably carry 50 people, so we're just going to say a 200. Oh wait, it would go the other way. You always round towards safety. Even software engineers like, eh, good enough, excellent. Cool, I'm, I'm glad that approximations are so, so widely accepted. It's funny because, like, whenever you, I feel like whenever you think of engineering before you, like, learn any engineering, you, you always think they're very precise, but then it's just like, you make it any assumption you can, whenever you can. Because I think otherwise you'd go crazy. Because it really does just need to be good enough for a lot of things. Even the dangerous things. That's why you just err on the side of caution, so then good enough even is safe, works for safety. Uh, this doesn't work, but... That's fine. Because we can make it work. Yeah. I think this works. Okay, can't wait to connect a third a third fluid here though. Okay, so heavy oil doesn't actually go this way at all. And now we have to get the outputs. Okay. Perfect. I don't like how we're using so much space for this. I'm actually going to shift this over because uh, this will make it really hard to do anything here if I have these pipes running through the base. Oh, this is going to have terrible pressure. I, I don't expect this will work that well, but I think it'll do the job. Okay, so this has a pump for some reason. Don't know why. But I'm sure it had a purpose. Unfortunately, we need to make sure this connects to... Actually, we don't need to make sure it connects to a specific part, do we? What is this? That's efficient cooling. Okay, so we need to connect it to anything that has regular thermofluid, as long as we give it logic, right? So we can connect it here if we give it a pump with logic on it. I, I think that's our easiest easiest option. And then we need an underground, okay. This goes here. Pipe out in the input, perfect. And then green wire. And then it already has the logic. Okay, I think this works fine. Probably. <laughs> Don't have a ton of confidence with that, but I, I think that this works okay. Because this should be able to make it anywhere we have thermofluid. Awesome. Uh, now we just have this void in the middle of the base that we can't do anything with, but hey. It technically still produces heavy oil for us, so this does still have some function. Okay, now chemical gel probably also needs to be expanded, but I don't know where it is. Where it goes. What is that? <laughs> is the whole thing the link? <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> engineer someone who does precision guesswork based on unreliable data provided those with questionable knowledge see also wizard magician <laughs> that's definitely like a facebook quality meme but it's also so true <laughs> i like it 
Or is that something you would have on like your mug at work? That that's what I no, that's what it is. That's a work mug. Is that like an entire like HTML formatting? Is that is that what all those things are? Those look like format format things. Mug slash shirt. Yeah, also a shirt. Shirt you wore to your where to your company lunch. Okay, so we do have thermofluid now. I mean, we've always had thermofluid, so I guess that doesn't say much. But we have cheaper thermofluid. You know what? Maybe I should have kept that other one as backup in case we run out of cryonite. But I, I think cryonite we actually produce plenty. So I, I think we have other issues if this stops running. Uh, does it also use less cryogel? I guess if it uses less cryogel, that's decent. Okay, it does the earth, sorry, chemical gel. Okay, it's less chemical, heavy oil and chemical gel. You know what, we can live with that. I'm, I'm fine up with this. Those are just commas, and it looks like commas for links in chat. Oh, oh, I didn't mean the comma. I just meant how it says, like, height, outline, inner, inner fill, stuff like that. Like, it just has everything for the web page in the link. Like, background color width of the image and stuff like that. I'm assuming that's what those are. Does this work? I think this works. I, I should have made it larger. It's not too late, actually. <laughs> it's very easy to expand this. Uh, we do have to rotate the move this down, though. There we go. Uh, we don't really have it copyable yet, but that's okay. This FFS is colors, nothing else. Well, I see E's. <laughs> Which is close. <laughs> Which is a slightly off black. <laughs> e is nothing? What do you mean E is nothing? It is definitely can be something. But yeah, it could be nothing. But it's not like E is outside the, the scope for for RGB, right? In hexadecimal. How do we how do we attach this? Is three enough? I guess that's also the, the real question. Do I think three is enough? I, I don't actually know. Oh, gotcha. Are you looking at different E's? I was looking at the E's that had six in a row. I, I don't know why I'm looking at this link so much. It's just so long, it takes up half the chat, so I can't ignore it. <laughs> Otherwise, I would, would probably be out of mind by now. <laughs> it's just so, such a long link. It is, it's like an Amazon link. I, I think it's Amazon that has like the annoyingly long links that has so much like tracking data in it. Like E or E. <laughs> Did I, did I say enough E's there? I feel like I didn't say enough E's. Oh, that's why it's not working. Not connected to power. Okay, we almost made a less functional build with this. Excellent, that's what I wanted. Okay, uh, we'll move this over one more tile. We'll get this hooked up. And we'll hook up one more heavy oil, okay. Is this an expandable design? No. But it's more expandable than some of the things we'll build, and that's what matters. I feel like we definitely needed more cryonite slush up here. 100%. Uh, is it too late? It's actually not.
this is a weird way to do it, but it does work. That's what matters. But I think we need dot I think we need at least double the cryonite slush, so this is this is how we're doing it. Okay. We're not gonna have pressure issues because of this, right? <laughs> Also, I, is pressure better or worse with the long pipes? I, I haven't really tested them much. I feel like the reason they exist is for long distance travel to have better pressure than the underground pipes. That is just a guess, but I can't think of any reason they exist. To be honest, the link that link is quite weird, right? <laughs> just, just a little. <laughs> It's one of those things that is like technically has no impact on my life, but slightly interesting to look at. <laughs> okay, this should work. This does double our cryonite production or cryonite slush production. These are actually like input speed limited for iron, kind of. So I think I need to double up on the long inserters and then we should be good. Which unfortunately requires extra power poles, but that's fine. Power poles are cheap. Uh, I'm, I'm wishing I did substations here now. <laughs> now that I have everything set up, it actually would have worked better with substations, but oh well. Okay, let's see if we actually have this number increasing. That's a little bit depressing, actually. Hmm. <laughs> well, they're still working, right? I feel like it did not go as up as much as I wanted it to. At least we got those right. These are working. I guess this wasn't about getting more thermofluid. Can you have a permission to post a link that is not a link? I don't know what that means, so yes. Because now I'm curious. <laughs> Wait, did I spell your name right? Yes, okay. I don't know why I always type the name. I think it's because I never trust my ability to actually copy the whole thing, but like I can just copy the names <laughs> from docs. What does this do? <laughs> that just that just looks like gibberish to me. I'm assuming it means something in some way. If you want to cyber, decipher what is going on in the previous link. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's related to the other one. Gotcha. It's a key. I don't know if key is the right word. Uh, well, I guess for deciphering, key is the word you would use. Cool. <laughs> This is, this is such a small amount of thermofluid. <laughs> but I guess the thermofluid is also entering these things, right? I think. Numbers going up, that's the important thing. I guess what I can do is I can put a beacon there. And that will give me a lot more. Once we eventually get beacons. that That's the big thing. We need to eventually get beacons here. How much power are we going to use in space from just modules? Like, I think we use all... We use half as much power in space as we do on land, I think. Whenever our base is fully running. If I move this a little higher, these can get beacons. Right? Almost. <laughs> One of them can get a beacon. Is it worth it though? Nah. Beacons are cheap enough. We just don't have any. It's not that they're expensive, we just didn't send up enough to space. Oh yeah, well we did accomplish our goal for, for this part, which was to get cheaper cryonite. Or cheaper... well cheaper lube and cheaper thermofluid. So while it probably wasn't worth it, I am glad we did it. Because we need blank data cards, and I think that is why we needed all of this stuff. So we've been running low on these. They need copper, polished substrates, and advanced circuits. Okay, none of those are expensive. 
The issue is that... <laughs> the, issue, the issue is that we're out of the thing that I said wasn't expensive. Huh. Funny. Funny how it works like that, huh? Okay, so decontamination facility. I think this was actually production speed limited at some point. So we actually need to make a second one of these somewhere. Oh my gosh. We, wait, we've just been storing the scrap in a chest. We have like 30 recycling, okay, six recycling facilities over here, and we still have it being stored in a chest. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> that was definitely a decision that we made back when uh, we didn't have a ton of production and we didn't have this recycling facility, but it's still, <laughs> still funny to me <laughs> that it's still there. Also, it needs decontaminated scrap too. Okay, so we actually need a f filter to send stuff here somehow. Okay, we can make that work. Okay, so that will be taken care of, and then this needs to make its way... Actually, wait, we can just filter it here, right? Unless it goes on the wrong side of the belt. No, it goes on the wrong side of the belt. So we need to filter it ahead of time. Let's see, this is called contaminated scrap is what I want to send to the left. Perfect. <laughs> the spaghetti is maybe getting a little bit unwieldy, but I still think it's a good decision. Okay, maybe good is the right word. A decision that has led to interesting designs. There we go. That That's more what it is. It's not good. Definitely not good, but I, I think it's really fun following this spaghetti at the end of the day. Okay, um, okay, this scrap is finally taken care of now. Just in time for us to move this to a different recycling facility, because I want this to be produced over here. So let's see, what does that need? It needs an input of cosmic water, and it outputs dirty cosmic water. Okay. So dirty cosmic water we have in this recycling facility, so that's actually going to be quite, okay, maybe not easy, but manageable to get over here. Then we also have the extra dirty sludge. Okay. Yeah, this works. I, I think this is a line that works at least. That is contaminated cosmic water. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, that's a mess, but that's fine. And then, yeah, we need to figure out why we're not making substrates, actually. That's really bad, because uh, we need a lot of them. Oh, and then cosmic water, which I think cosmic water is over here. Okay, so this is actually a very a very easy expansion. Um, very, act very happy with that, actually. I thought it was going to be a little bit rougher. Wait, what is this? Wait. Huh. Is that good or bad? I don't know if this is a better option. It doesn't have any scrap, but we do use the scrap. So it, which one's better? What does chemical gel use? Chemical gel is cosmic water and petroleum gas. So I guess either way it's using cosmic water. Huh. You can clean the cosmic water and reuse it. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. Yeah, we do prioritize recycling it. The chemical gel recipe consumes the cosmic water. Okay. Is it better? It doesn't seem better in like any way to me, unless you just really don't have scrap handling. But it seems like that recipe wasn't there before. So I can't, I don't really get why it exists. It's not cheaper, right? Or in terms of, uh, it's not cheaper in terms of data substrate. That's the main thing. Ah, uh, yeah, well, we'll keep going with what we have then. Oh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> 
yeah, I, I definitely won't be building it around it. I'm just curious if it has any, like, practical use. There we go. You don't use it? Okay. That gives me that gives me some peace of mind <laughs> with with my decision. Okay. Uh, this should be much more scalable. Honestly, it just need doesn't even need to, need to be super scalable. It just needs to have some modicum of production increase improvement. Okay, so hopefully this is set up properly, so I don't need to redo any connections. We can honestly just leave this here. You use the cam recipe on your first SE run, big mistake. Is it an earlier one? Is that why it's there? Oh, you get them at the same time. Okay. Maybe it's for people who just use... Well, okay, if you can recycle the water, that means it's not water efficient. I'm trying to give it some benefit. Let's see, you get 99% of the water back. And you get scrap to recycle to make more chemical gel. <laughs> hmm. I guess throughput speed, if throughput is an issue. But yeah, it does seem like it would use a lot of petroleum gas for that. And not recycling water, <laughs> no scrap back. Maybe, maybe there's something. We can give it the benefit of the doubt. So someone somewhere probably has a bottleneck from it that it solves. Okay, so this is this is non-contaminated scrap, right? Yeah, this is just regular scrap. And then substrate. Sunstrate, substrate. Which is uh, oh wait, which one is it making? That one. The polished. Yeah, this is the polisher. Okay, so scrap and substrates can be here. Scrap can be just sent across. Okay, this is a fair amount of improvement over what we already had. That's all right. It is good enough, I think. We'll just make this. <laughs> Who cares about space? Uh, this these don't have any modules in them yet. That's why I've added so many. Because we, we have decontamination facilities, but we don't really have any more beacons, and I just wanted to get... I wanted to make sure our replacement at least works as well as the old design. Okay, now we have polished data substrates. This should recycle the scrap, it should recycle the liquid, assuming we connected it right, which we did. Actually, we can make, that, make it even easier. Perfect. It looks a little nicer. Okay. So all the water is being recycled. The recycled water processing is you, runs way less often than this thing does. So I think I think the ratio is not one to one to one. So we should be okay. Storage things. Um, this will run for a long time, considering we've made twenty thousand our entire playthrough. Okay, so now we just need to get substrates over here, and then we also need more data cards. I don't know if. This is, I don't know what the bottleneck here is, but I think our easiest course is to just build a new one. Because I don't know, I, I think this was crafting limited at some point due to a couple different reasons. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. And then we can even get iron copper from this. So that's going to be pretty easy. Ooh, wait, actually, if we do this right, that can just sideload there. This can have stack inserters, and then this will make data cards, because there is some loss in data cards, and currently we're losing a lot more than we're producing. I think it's just because we haven't fully finished all of the material processing yet for the, like, energy two and stuff. But yeah. At the moment, we do have bottlenecks, and I don't want to uh, have to worry about them. Okay, so now, this has hmm, this has red chips, and then this one has substrate. It just doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> we 
we can pretend this is like a normal bus, right? Can I lie to myself and pretend that this is just a vanilla uh, of the kind of Factorio bus that anyone makes? <laughs> I mean, I guess we can always lie to myself. It just doesn't necessarily work. Okay, so that gives me red chips. I accidentally deleted that. This gives me substrates. Perfect. And this gives me both. Okay, this gives me more, more data cards then. I mean, I guess technically this does kind of function like a bus. By some definition of the word. Also, I want this to go over like a single tile. Unless I can... Do this? Yeah, that works. That does work. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll roll with it. <laughs> oh, you thought, yeah, lying to myself is default state? 100%. That, that's how we get through them. <laughs> if we're honest with ourselves, we realize how rough the base actually looks and uh, it gets tough. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, all about, it's all about denial. That really is the most effective strategy in this game. Can't wait until we get... Oh, wait. Hold on. Why don't we have these yet? I'm... S wait, why don't we have those? Have we made more energy, too? Okay, we've made an equivalent amount. Oh my gosh, we can research... I completely forgot that we have everything we need to research them. Second most effective strategy is let's assume the ratio is one to one. Okay, that one is really effective. And look, some of the time, it's always true. Therefore, it's always true. Uh, but this works, I think. Wait. Wait, hold on. I didn't connect this right. I did not connect this right. That's fine. We can add a splitter here and then we're good. My science is peak effectiveness. I, I think this is as this is working perfectly. Like up until that point though, the last thing we built, it was a one to one. Oh, wait, hold on, someone's calling me. Hopefully I set this up right. I might have. There's a good chance. It's not, it's not a guarantee, but it's not it's not a zero it's not a zero percent chance. Okay. Uh, apparently we do not actually have enough contamination facilities. I don't actually know why. If I had to guess, it's because they're not automated. That that's that's a fair assumption actually. Uh, and these are not within build range, or bot range, so we just need to expand that real quick. I'm so excited to have pylon substations. Hopefully we can figure out how to build them relatively easily, because I want to use them everywhere. Because it's not like we use circuits very much. So uh, they'll basically just uh, they'll make power very easy to set up. Okay, so now we just need to get this over here. Uh, and I don't know if we need multiple of them. So just in case, we're gonna we're gonna leave space for it, but we can uh, we can expand up as well. Cause who knows? Currently, we're assuming the ratio is one to five, which is definitely not right. <laughs> but hey, maybe to some degree, maybe to some degree, it's okay. <laughs> Let's see, stack inserter and long inserter. Perfect. Cool. Okay, this needs to make it... And honestly, it doesn't need to make it that far. Right? Oh wait, except I don't know where the prio lies. 
Oh, it needs to go up here. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Okay, this looks possible. That's what matters. Yeah, okay. Definitely seems possible. I say that, but um, it's looking less possible. But we, we can do it. Okay. We move this power pole. We make this an underground. We give this a loop. Now we can go through here. Okay, perfect. Now I can go under. And now this pace space is way more open for any kind of debauchery. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't know why that's the description I decided to go with for describing spaghetti, but yeah, it, it's debauchery. I mean, it's, I'm basically using it how they use it in that Spongebob episode, right? AKA completely incorrectly. Uh, and it is on the far side of the belt, which is the side it needs to be on. So as long as we don't have any accidental side loads, this is good. Yeah, um, that works, probably. Okay, let's see what's wrong with our polished substrate production. Because we obviously are not producing any. Or at least we're not putting it in a rocket. Let's see, where is substrate? I mean, we are producing it, but it's obviously not producing enough. I wonder if it's used for other things. Let's see, let's see what happened here. Because these are cheap, right? Oh. We already have a lot of assembly machines. I mean, they don't have any beacons, so it's not... It, it's very easy to improve this. Uh, we can also give it some prod mods to make it cheaper. Yeah, these are incredibly cheap. Uh, I think the only reason it, we're limited on them is because it's a slow recipe. And we didn't have beacons. We can live with that. Okay. Uh, where's a beacon we can copy? Okay, this seems excessive, but yeah, we'll give it some speed threes. Sure. We can even get some, we can even give it some prods if we really want. And now we need to insert, let's just do prod ones. And then this copper thing, I think was just a temporary filter. So let's expand this to have double. Double seems good. No idea what that is. I think this somehow has scrap on it. Does this produce scrap? Oh, it does produce scrap. Cool. Kind of annoying, actually. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with this. this these are just going to slowly fill up until the end of time. We'll figure it out. We, we usually do. I don't think there, is a, there isn't any... I don't think there's any um, spaghetti problem we haven't been able to solve yet. So I'd say we're, we're doing all right. We could be doing better, but we're doing all right. That's what matters. We're hanging in there with uh, with our base. It's it's definitely <laughs> definitely pushing the limits of it. Wait, why are these on space undergrounds? Oh, because I didn't Q pick. That's why. Okay, underground. This can go through here, and then now we can copy all the inputs. Are we gonna have production speed? We might have production speed issues with this. Not entirely sure. Could be okay. It could be okay. I mean, they're not running right now because it's not fully built, so it's hard to say. Oh, never mind. They, we're not going to have input speed issues at all. <laughs> These are very, very slow recipes. That part's weird. Oh my gosh, we don't have a buffer <laughs> for the scrap recycling. <laughs> Huh, not, not a problem I expected there. Will it fix itself? No, it will not. Okay. Wait, we are just... This is not sustainable. I haven't looked at this in a long time. Do we have a better recycling facility anywhere in this space? I doubt it. Um, yeah, I, I highly doubt we do. Okay, what can we do with this scrap? That's the real question. Obviously the best place to send it is up there. 
what if I make a scrap recycler? That's honestly not a bad idea. Like just a mass scrap recycler. Can you put modules in these? No. Well, yes, but not prod modules. Which would be a little bit overpowered, but it would be cool too. Oh, that was apparently critical. Morning. Wait, is this space exploration? Yeah, Sundays we do space exploration. We make very spaghetti bases because it's fun. But yeah, we, we play space exploration most Sundays. And it is... It is a mess. <laughs> I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. These are space pipes. Those don't work. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to have normal length pipes, though. Yeah, we definitely have a, a few flaws in our base because of the, the commitment to the spaghetti, but hey, it works. It's so fun, though. I don't know why, but I, I'm very, I've been very happy doubling down on this bit. <laughs> Because we get stuff like this. It is so, so far from expandable. Nope, that's space pipe again. I still haven't fully set up my hotbars, though. So we keep accidentally connecting the wrong things. Yeah, it's, uh, it's large. I don't think it's terrible. I don't th think the recipes are terribly compli complicated compared to a lot of mods. But the fact that you have like interplanetary logistics is where most of the most of the complication comes from. And the fact that I've never really used a train before in my life, and this is a mod where trains are very useful, especially like space trains <laughs> or uh, these, which kind of have similar logic to trains. So yeah, it's it's a lot. I've had to spend a lot of time just learning basically basics of Factorio. <laughs> Which has been fun. Okay, so scrap recycling. I'm going to temporarily buffer the scrap. Uh, just because it might take us a while to get the scrap facility up. And I want these to keep running. But we should be producing way more of that, right? Substrate. Oh yeah, we tripled our production. How many hours do I have in Factorio? Um... Three to four thousand, probably. Um, only like two hundred of that is not streaming, though. <laughs> it's mostly that I don't really enjoy trains that much, so I've never. And the stuff that I do doesn't benefit from trains, so there's just been no real reason to learn it. It is what it boils down to. Like, just practically speaking, none of the challenge runs I do require any form of train logic, because short-term trains are never worth it. So unless I were to force myself to just do a train-only run, uh, I just uh, haven't been able to <laughs> force myself to find the time to learn them, basically. is all, all it boils down to. I think this recycling facility works, though. Yeah, we just need to split it. Okay, that's actually a little bit messier than I thought. Train online run? What's a train online run? <laughs> a run where I just learn how to use trains? A train only run. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I, I thought it was like a multiplayer run where everyone has to use a train. <laughs> And I was like, that, I was thinking that would do it. <laughs> Kion is missing blue belt. Wait, why does Kion want blue belt? I, I think I can safely download, downgrade it. Let's see, where is that? Uh, that won't work. Let's downgrade the blue into red. Because yeah, there's no, uh, there's no blue belt on this planet. Where is, where is that? Okay, uh, yeah, it was somewhere over here. They'll probably get to it. My train only run would be like more, even more cursed. <laughs> Just a little. I, I, I can assure you that if I were to do a train only run, we would not make it pretty. <laughs> 
Okay, let's do iron first, which is the top one. Okay. Perfect. And then copper is here. And then we also need stone and probably coal. I don't actually know what recycling does. Recycling. Uh, which one is it? Actually, which one is it? Iron, copper, stone. Oh, oh, it doesn't actually produce coal. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Stone is this... Of course, stone is the hardest one to get to. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I think that's fine, right? Yeah, this is fine. Only trains and only online? Oh, now that would be rough. <laughs> I, I have to constantly, let's like, fight the trains of everyone else. <laughs> okay, uh, I think this is right, aside from the fact that these are the wrong kinds of belts. Wait, why don't I just move this? There we go. There we go. Perfect. Um, I know there's no more than those three things, but just in case something else makes it on the belt, I don't want it breaking literally my entire base. Mod idea, something that makes trains and all available at the start, then makes the recipes the same as starting things. Oh, so it would be a train only run and I don't have to hand feed for the first start. That, that would be a nice way to force me to actually do stuff by making it that they're not locked behind like a tech and relatively affordable. Okay, now we need to handle the light oil. Okay, so the easiest thing to do with this light oil is to just burn it, to be honest, uh, unless we have like a nearby pipe we can use. We have sulfur. That's not helpful. What if I put the barrel... No, I don't really want to use bots. That could be fun, especially if you increase all recipes by like 10 times on input-output. I actually was thinking about doing a 10 times research mod. Probably not for all the recipes. Because if you increase all the recipes, then it kind of no longer incentivizes, incentivizes me to make a rail. <laughs> but if we do just sciences, that's what most of the... That's what most of your resources go to. So that would still force me to use a rail system. And I wouldn't have to worry about the cost of the rail itself. But I have been thinking of... I, you know, it is on the list to do a 10 times multiplier run using Rail World. However, I wasn't going to do it with trains. <laughs> so it's, it's somewhat adjacent to that. The thing is, I was going to do it with times 10 everything. It's like time ten, times 10 research multiplier, but also times 10 player speed. Like, game speed was going to be 10 times faster when I did the run. Because uh, I think that would be fun. To justify rail... Oh, 10 times more output too. Okay. I, I see what you mean. I thought you just meant like... I, I just... I don't know, you did say output, but for some reason I was just thinking of the cost. Okay, that definitely, because your volume is so high, that balances out. Gotcha. Yeah, that does kind of force you to do it. To do it. <laughs> or like a similar thing, make the stack size terrible. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. That would not, that wouldn't really do anything. If you made the stack size smaller, that would actually decentivize rails. Okay, I, does anybody see a good spot for a pipe here? Uh, a heavy oil pipe. We're, we're just looking for a heavy oil pipe to build off of. Oh, there's one. That's the wrong kind of pipe. Let's see. Okay, we're just going to put a regular pipe here so I don't have to keep uh, accidentally putting space pipe. I say that and then I immediately grab space pipe. <laughs> wow, uh, muscle memory is rough. 
Okay, I think... I think this is, uh, this is doable. I I'm pretty sure we can make this over to our recycling facility. I feel like we need another recycling facility, but this is a good start. Or we need to get more things over to the recycling facility. Because I feel like we definitely produce scrap elsewhere in the base. I just don't know where it would be. Okay, I think I lost track of it here. So far, so good. Uh, this is going through a rocket part production, which we were trying to expand. So let's let's go down a little bit first. Here, this seems like a much better spot. Also, I got Hell Divers, uh, and then I then I reached, which I was gonna play as a Thursday game, and then I uh, then I returned Hell Divers, because it turns out that the matchmaking in that game is absolutely awful. It is not fun to play solo. I don't personally. Um, <laughs> It's, it, it's not, I don't think they set up the multiplayer well. The game itself seems really cool, but I was uh, looking for a solo game. And that seems like a game I would play like one or two hours a week with friends. Also, there's all the controversy over it, so it just seemed rough to keep it when everybody uh, is hating it. Yeah, that, that PlayStation thing tons of controversy over it at the moment. Like I think last time I checked they were at 17% positive reviews on Steam. Uh, when they were actually like pl being played the game was at about 85%. So yeah they've been review, review bombed by like crazy. People are requesting refunds even past the two hour mark which some of them are honoring. There's a lot. <laughs> It's, there's a lot going on with it. Personally, I don't mind it because it doesn't affect me that much. I, I don't love it, but you know, it's not. That that's not why I returned it. It just wasn't. Uh, it wasn't satisfying that solo itch I wanted. It's not a review bomb if complaints are. That's fair. Review bombs are typically, a lot of times they aren't that legitimate. Usually it's just like, I hate the company, so I'm going to review every game poorly. But yeah, this one actually has a goal. Why am I sideloading this? I guess I don't need to. You hate when big names buy smaller studios? Were they a smaller studio that was like bought out by Sony? Like how... I don't know what their first game was like. I don't know if they've always been working like, if it's always been like this with their original. The gameplay looks kind of fun, but you also thought it would be rough to play solo. So have you ever played Deep Rock Galactic? It's kind of like that. That That's the vibe I get from it in terms of how the multiplayer feels, where it's just like Deep Rock Galactic solo is kind of rough. Um, like it's a lot harder. <laughs> Isn't Sony only a publisher? You don't believe they own Arrowhead? If I had to guess, it was like a, if you want to publish on PlayStation, you ha we have to own you? I don't know. Probably That's probably not how it works. They don't really have exclusive. That's actually, that would be more like a Nintendo thing, huh? So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how they're related to it, but... They own, they own them enough to, or have enough control to make them require the PlayStation Network. That, that's my, that's all I know about it. But yeah, that, that, that's where I was at too. Because it's not that the gameplay is bad, couldn't be like bad with a pick, couldn't be fun with a pickup group. It's just that the way they have the pickup groups designed doesn't work very well. There's copper and stone mix on that belt. Yeah, that's uh, intended. Uh, basically, this was my old recycling belt. And it gets filtered out at the end. And then this is the new recycling, uh, the new recycling machines. So this will have a mix of iron, copper, and stone. That gets filtered out uh, when it gets all the way up back to here, my main distribution point. So we're good for once. But yeah, basically it's like um, you join a match, you play for like a few minutes, and then maybe somebody joins you, or you like choose to randomly join someone and you join halfway through their mission. But the thing is when you join someone like that, halfway through their mission, they're the host and they have the control, like 
the same amount of control you would have over a private lobby with a friend. So like they're the one who chooses the mission. They can kick you at any point. They can just sit there and wait and look at their inventory and just AFK while you do nothing. So like they don't have any just like communal multiplayer, I guess, where just everybody has equal power or it just like goes straight from match to match. It puts you back into like the lobby that you would hang out with friends as opposed to hang out with randos. It's weird. Uh, if they ever add an actual like multiplayer system that isn't that, I think I will pick up the game again. But it's hard to play a game when it's uh, random multiplayer is basically the same multiplayer as with friends. Because you know, it could just have like a lobby, like you queue up for a game, it puts you in a match with four people, and then at the end of it you separate and you go to four new people. And it gives you an option that's like, you know, stick with group or something. Like there's lots of options <laughs> that they did not go with. Now does this seem to be working though? I think it seems to be working. You play Deep Rock Galactic with friends, which is fun, but you see how it would be difficult and tedious solo. tedious and difficult solo. Yeah, it's more it's more tedious. Cause it's just when you have to like explore in Deep Rock to find everything in the caves, uh it's it's not that fun doing it solo. Especially since you can't have a dedicated miner. Unless you want to play the miner. You just can't you don't have that class variety. This is producing so slow. Do you think we have scrap somewhere else? Because I feel like we definitely... Oh, here it is. Well, this one is discontinued. But we do technically have scrap here, so we're gonna, we're gonna hook it up. I don't know what this used to be. But just in case it's useful. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna reattach it. Okay, side doesn't matter. There's that. Oh wait, this is the this is already filtered though, so that actually should go here. Okay, yeah, no idea what this used to be. I think this might have been for life support systems. And then we realized we didn't need to produce them as infinitely as we were because they get recycled, so we stopped it. Once we realized I produced like two thousand life support. Which is more than you need. You need like a hundred total, as long as you recycle it. Okay, let's check on space. How's it doing? Okay, it hasn't produced any any substrate. Oh yeah, spaghetti through the whole base. That's that's our mantra. Spaghetti everywhere, all the time. No no alternatives. Uh, at least on at least on novice. We we are trying to do trains on other other worlds. Okay, we're gonna send this just to test our new production line. Because it's going to take a long time for that to fill up. Especially since we don't need a ton of da data substrates. But yeah, we're producing like three times as many as we need. So if we were barely holding on, we definitely have enough now. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It got delivered nicely. Okay, well, hopefully things are set up properly. I guess we'll find out. Let's see if this is done. Perfect. Uh, that's gonna drop a lot of LDS on the ground. Surely there must be a mod which adds literal spaghetti as an item. <laughs> a mod where I literally make a spaghetti factory is something I have considered. <laughs> kind of like, um, I don't know if anybody remembers Tekkit, like an old Minecraft mod pack, but the Yogscast version of it where their entire goal is to make Jaffa cakes, but they obviously went and just did their own like let's play and stuff and then that only at the very end was it very loosely related to Jaffa Cakes. Uh, it would be like that adventure but with spaghetti. It works a lot better though with a group. Um, what are we trying to make? Decontamination facility. So the only thing we need from this is processing units. Okay. There we go. Let's see if these are actually getting the junk. Ooh, wait, they are. Very good. And then we're trying to beat... Okay, this was producing at a craft speed of 180%. So this actually does not make up the difference, unfortunately. 
but I think between the two of them we're fine. And we could also add speed modules, which also help. So that should make it that this produces as much as this. Because, yeah, we can just leave this here, right? Yeah, we don't have to delete this. There's no reason to. I like this red chest that was supposed to be me just clearing my inventory. And it's still here because it is not prioed. <laughs> it's going to be there basically until the end of time. I guess its main limiting factor is polished data substrates, which is crafting speed, a crafting speed limit. So this might actually be running, this is probably more running at like 50%. So yeah, this is actually a very significant improvement, <laughs> which this is still also <laughs> limited by substrates. That's fantastic. Uh, decontamination facilities should help that though. Yeah. And then, will these have speed modules? Yes, they will. Okay, so we definitely need to get speed twos up here. Speed twos up here. But I think we can probably assume, let's see, polished data. Oh wow, we haven't produced them in a while. Okay, so this is the number to beat. 163 per 10 hours? Actually, I don't really know how to read the graph. <laughs> but it's still producing, so we can't tell if it's beating what it was before. But this it needs to be higher than this number for this to have been worth the effort. Oh my gosh, we have the wrong one. We have the wrong side. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, um, that's fine. Not the end of the world. How do we do this? Uh, okay, I know what to do. Filters. Okay, just, just to fix our mistake. There we go. This needs to take... Scrap? Not scrap. Substrate. There we go. Uh, that'll... Actually, that won't clear it up because it's not priod, but... So let's do this instead. There we go. Oh wait, we changed... We changed our hotbars. Nothing's in, nothing's in the right spot. Where did it go? Okay. Uh, that will at least clear the belt. I don't know if these will ever get spent, but they will clear the belt, and that's the important thing. Okay, these are working decently. See, the between all of these, that is a production speed of about 18. This has a production speed of about 7. Okay, so we should have tripled the substrates over what we used to have. Unless we actually deleted some assembly machine somewhere. Polish. Let's see if the graph has moved enough to be meaningful. Ah, there we go. Now, okay, now we can actually say it's it's better. And look at that, it is about triple. Cool. So, hopefully these start running better, because I think that was a bottleneck for something. Oh, wait. Thermofluid is backed up. Wait, thermofluid is backed up? What? That can't be good. Uh oh. I don't know how that happened, but it's not good. <laughs> we deadlocked our entire base. <laughs> uh, a couple of storage tanks will fix it. But yeah, we need to figure out where the leak is. We're not producing. You know what it might have been? It, there is a small chance that we just had so much extra thermofluid in some like random spot that we cooled it off. And then it just like filled or yeah, we, we warmed it back up and then it filled the tanks real real quickly just with like buffers in other pipes. So let's let's lower this value down to like five thousand. Cause uh, I think we need a little bit of a little bit of some headroom. 
yeah, a, li a little bit of headroom. So that way we don't uh, break our base again. And then just in case, th this is this is how we can do a buffer instead. We really don't need a buffer. I don't know why I'm buffering it. We have so much production. Yeah, that's, that's true. The link is right there. How could I possibly have missed it? Okay, so things should start working again. Except for this. This is the thing we need to improve. This is also the cheapest thing to improve. So we need to get more of these, so that way we can run this base. Run these things. Yeah, this is literally easiest, the easiest part of the base to expand. Oh wait, 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 wait. This is why we need the data- this is why we needed the data cards. Because we are running out all the way over here. Oh, okay, so we're actually doing alright. So let's make an expansion, and it's a messy expansion as always. Yeah, you're right. The link was right there. I can't <laughs> can't believe we didn't see it. Now now it's starting to sound like the the mouse only run <laughs> or the invisible factory run, denying that we can see something for the end until the end of time. Okay, so clearly we did not think we would need to expand this any farther. Don't know why, but mistakes were made. If we want to produce these faster, we need to produce these faster. Well, I guess these don't do much without this, but I, I think expanding it this way is a lost cause. Let's do let's do something smarter instead for once. So let's not build these together. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying this is smart because it's still a rough design, but we can definitely say it's a little bit, a little bit smarter. J just a little bit. Okay, this should be something that can tessellate, right? No, not quite. Now can it tessellate? Not like I care that much about tessellating, but yeah. I want it to be something I can somewhat expand on. There we go. There we go, and the outputs. Perfect. Okay. And then this needs input, and I don't know what it needs for output. I think it produces junk, right? Yeah, okay. We need to get this over here. That seems doable. Yeah, that seems doable. And then a junk belt is this inside one. Actually, wait, that one's... Is this junk belt? I, I think this inner belt is technically a junk belt, too. Yeah, this should be a junk belt. Okay. So we need a filter inserter with a blacklist on it, which we can copy from this one, so that way it's nice and simple. Maybe simple is not the right word. <laughs> Okay, which one is the which one is the blacklist? The blacklist is on the right. Perfect. And then this one is here. And then I think it needs to be on the top. Yeah, it needs to be on the top. Okay. I think that looks right. Once, once we get the fluids connected, it should be perfect. Substation, and then we can probably work on getting actual pylon substations soon. I wonder if we can do that with just a... Uh... Let's see, what do they require? I wonder if we can do that with... Yeah, no, never mind. I was going to say, I wonder if we can do that with just a bunch of chests. Uh, requester chests, which we temporarily can, but the thing is we don't really have batteries. Let's see, what, what do solenoids take? Uh, we kind of can. Yeah, we can... Okay, we can... Okay, we can, we can make something work. Let's see, we have copper here, we have sulfuric acid here. We can definitely make batteries up here. Okay, 
Okay, let's see. Send the copper up. This uses so much space, but yeah, this will work. Then because we have some undergrounds, we'll just do a weird curve. That's totally fine. And yeah, we can do one battery assembler right here, and that should be honestly more batteries than we ever need. Uh, this will also let us get laser turrets up here, which we actually do need. If we want to finish our mall, we do need laser turrets and accumulators, which we can produce right here. Okay, actually, you know what? This is, this is pretty all right. Uh, I think this will produce an insane amount of batteries. Uh, we're probably going to be more sulfur limited than we are batteries at this point. Because this is... If, especially if we speed mod it. So yeah, we should be fine. This is where we make batteries, right? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Kim plants or sulfur over here. Good. And then accumulators we can just make in a space manufactory, I think. Which unfortunately is a lot farther away than I wanted it to be, but that's fine. Okay, I think this works. Yeah, that should be that should be okay. And we'll limit batteries to like actually we'll limit them to like 20 stacks. And then this can be accumulators, which can output right over there. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. Technically fully automated accumulators. I actually don't like how they share a chest. I kinda want a separate battery assembler too. This is slower than I expected. I guess it is just a battery. They do have like a four second craft time. Oh, we'll do it. We'll do a separate chest because I don't like the ability to not have batteries and accumulators at the same time, just because we need batteries for some things. And then we can't really do solenoids up here, but we can do iron sticks up here. And then this will let us hopefully make them all. Let's let's expand this because I think we need to. There you go, and that should be a place we can make substations at some point. Although we also need an intermediate mall, I think, which needs a requester chest, and that will make... I don't... I want to say sticks. It seems useless to make sticks that way, but I guess we do need sticks. And then now, but hopefully this can make the solenoid stuff. Okay, let's see. Stick production. Wait, no. Stick... Output here, and we can use this for solenite as long as we don't use it for science. Okay, that I think can get everything it needs. I don't, we don't necessarily have a chest for, yeah, we don't necessarily have a chest for sticks. Or plates, I mean. Let's see, where do we make those? Okay, uh, that'll work. And then we'll copy this one. Actually, I'm going to limit it. Just because... I don't think we need plates that much. Eh, maybe we do. Now let's do five stacks. These, the only reason we use this many cables is because anytime we need a cable for a machine, it's like 500 cables, uh, but the iron seems to be significantly less, especially since it's in the form of solenoids. Okay, so this should work now. Let's see, what's it called? Substation. And then this needs to get literally everything it needs from this chest. Oh, it needs a regular pylon first. I don't know. I don't know what a regular pylon requires. It might not be that bad. Wait, that's it's not a regular pylon. Wait, I thought it said logistics. Oh, that was me hovering over this. Okay, I, th I thought it said it needed a logistic pylon, and I, I did not know what that meant. Okay, this is a little bit trickier to do then, because I don't know how to get arrow frames. Because <laughs> we definitely skipped a step here. Uh, the other stuff we can get. Right? Yeah, the other stuff we can That's so many processing units. <laughs> Oh, yikes, that's a lot of processing units. Okay. Also, these have a stack size of 50. This is going to be very expensive. 
initially. Pylon subs. Oh, wait, these are the same thing. Whoops. There we go. That's better. Okay, concrete we should have. If we don't have it, I don't know what the problem is. Are we not putting concrete in a chest? We might not be putting concrete in a chest. Don't know why concrete sounded really weird. For some reason, it just didn't sound like a word after I said that. Conk. Conk just doesn't sound like a, a phrase. Okay, so arrow frame pole. Those are basically just sticks and beryllium. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to be a problem. So let's just request beryllium here and we're good. So we can output. Arrow frame pole. Arrow frame pole. Then I think that's good as long as we can find out where to get beryllium from. Which there should be some... Somewhere in... Wait, what's... Which tech is beryllium used for? Material science, right? Uh, no. Space science. Wait. No, sp not space science. I don't remember what uses beryllium. Oh, there we go. Astro science. That's what it's called. Okay. Uh, we tracked it down. That's the important thing. Okay, these, I think, technically work. Well, aside from the fact that they, they aren't hooked up. But if we ignore that fact, they work and they're functional and we can say that uh, we can use them. <laughs> so if we ignore the fact that they're not functional, they're, they're functional. May, maybe that's not something we can ignore here. I, I do like making assumptions. That one seems like one of my least, least, real, least realistic assumptions I could be making, though. So may maybe I need to uh, rein them in uh, just a tad. Okay, and then this needs the ion gel, which we might be able to get through here. Yeah, I think we can get it through here. You know what they say about assumptions? They're always right. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> Haven't heard that one before. <laughs> it sounds exactly right in my alley. <laughs> Things are going to be so much easier when I know I'm going to always be right. I like this. Also, does this work? I think we can get this through. Oh, that doesn't work, though. Also, uh, I got a shout out today, like while I was offline, which is very confusing. Uh, I, I started stream today and I had like four followers from a shout out that I got at like 7 a.m. my time, which is very bizarre. <laughs> I, I'm wondering if someone was just, like, talking about me, and then they shouted out the channel. But without context, it did not make much sense. <laughs> it's very, very weird to get those, because normally you get them when you raid someone. Not when you're asleep. But hey, free followers? <laughs> I guess <laughs> that, that's something. This is working really well, though. Uh, I, I'm happy with this. We're actually copper limited, which is weird. You can ra that's true, you can raid offline channels. That would have been weirder. <laughs> I will I will I will admit that that would have been a weirder a weirder situation. <laughs> so does this work? I don't know if this is the best way to do that. I, I think putting onto a belt is better than putting onto a ground though. But yeah, I think I would have been more confused by that. Okay, we need electromagnetic facilities, which I think are automated, right? Yeah, they're just not producing that fast, I imagine, because we're low on LDS. Oh, wait. We're low on accumulators. Oh, that's why we suddenly got a ton at a time. Okay, that makes more sense. I was wondering why we weren't getting any. I just assumed we were too poor. But it turns out we just didn't have the resource at all. Okay, and where's that concrete chest we placed? There we go. Concrete. Close enough. Unfortunately, not really, though. I like the beeping as our base just slowly gets eaten. But there's not much we... I don't think there's much we can do to... Re other than, like, destroy all the bases, right? Like, to completely eliminate fighters. I guess more DPS would help, but because it's on, like, a weird corner, there's not much we can do. 
Because, uh, basically, it's, they're attacking right next to the water. Which means we can't put a ton of flamethrower turrets there. So, biters just always get within reach to attack our base before they get defeated. I, I think more fire or more lasers would help. Uh, maybe, like, nuclear ammo could do something. But, hey, this is our first, uh, first pylon substation fully, fully made. Those are a lot worse than I thought they were. Are there better ones? I don't think there are. I think I just need to lower my standards if I think this is this is considered worse in any way. Because it's still really good. Okay, in my mind, it was like twice the size. <laughs> it's still really good. I just really thought it was a lot larger <laughs> of an area. <laughs> So my standard was higher for no real reason. I know that's an insanely large coverage though, and I should not be complaining. <laughs> I think it's because when I first started using them, you got like the five or ten free ones. I put them all around my base. So in my mind, one was enough to cover like my whole base, but that's because my whole base was this. So that that's why. I was just picturing a smaller base. Ooh. What was that blinking? Oh, they tried to attack this area. Cool. Cool. Okay, and then we still need to attach... We still need the blank data cards. Okay, that's easy enough. It is like 12 of normal substance. Is it? Is it that much larger? <laughs> 18 by 18, 64 by 64. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> That is, that is uh, pretty large, huh? Yeah, almost, yeah, okay. <laughs> it, it is very large. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I was zoomed out. Because when I place it over a build, it definitely looks much larger when I, like this is two entire rows of science at a time that it's covering. <laughs> so it, maybe, yeah. The, looking at the blank space definitely did not give it its best uh, best shot at not being insulted by me. Rip. Also, where are these where are these data cards at? Okay, unfortunately, this can't reach, so we have to go around again. As always, more more spaghetti. The endless cycle. I think this is one of our most spaghetti heavy plays. This is one of the most spaghetti heavy days we've had. There, there's a lot we've had to spaghetti. It can cover 450 assembly machines tightly packed without belts. <laughs> I like, I like. When I saw tightly packed, I was like, okay, yeah, we aren't gonna have that. And then you added not bel without belts, and then it's just like, okay, this is maybe not the most practical. <laughs> this is definitely not the most practical. Um, metric, but it's good to know. <laughs> yeah, these uh, these are going to produce real slow. I could definitely speed it up with a stack inserter. Oh wait, we're limited by solenoids. Never mind, that won't do anything. How do we fix solenoids? We don't. We just don't really use logistic bots up here. So we just accept that until we get actual solenoid production, we're doomed. But that's okay. Uh, our base is looking all right. I mean, all things considered. Oh, this was not limited. <laughs> we did not need 48800 gears in space. Okay, so these should be uh, working better now. Which should improve this. Which, these are not powered. That part's weird to me. I really don't know why those aren't why those aren't powered. I guess I can place substations down and then delete them later. I don't know why I'm also really grasping the side. This is a very large energy two production relative to the energy one I made. And these need to be produced in a one to one ratio, right? So like I need as much energy science as I need energy two. Actually, I need more energy one science than I need energy two. So this is a this is a crazy ratio. 
this is like a six to one ratio for something that should be a two to one. So <laughs> pretty sure it's like 12 times the assembly machines I need. Are we going to change it? No, but <laughs> I, I did want to acknowledge the uh, slight flaw there in the design. And oh, that's true. Once I get to energy three, so as long as I make enough energy three and energy four, and only and never expand energy two, it'll balance itself out. Yeah, <laughs> only the science one to science two is the problematic ratio. That's the only issue with the ratios we have in my entire base. There are no other errors. <laughs> no other issues at all. No, sir. <laughs> This does fix the bottleneck that I have. Now, now we'll run into other issues, but hey, we should be getting a lot more material too, or whatever this. Broad energy catalogs. Which, I think we... Broad energy goes into a much more cheap... Oh, whoa. Whoa. That's the most energy... That's the most insight I've seen in a long time. It honestly might be worth using Energy Insight into its own significant data. Because the significant data is our bottleneck right now, and the other sciences are limited by that. And this one obviously is our cheapest science, or at least largest science build. Actually, you know, it is cheapest because it uses the tier 2. So turning this into significant data I think would be smart. If we can add a prio to it, which is very easy to do, actually. I'm hoping it uses this. I don't actually know, but I'm assuming we can repurpose the the same the same cooling colors here. Cooling temperatures, I guess. I guess they they are colors, but technically they're temperatures, so maybe I should call them that. Okay, uh, that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. Now it just needs an output. Okay, maybe I probably I probably could have put this splitter a lot earlier. <laughs> would it would have been better? You know where it's not where it doesn't have to like loop around terribly. Okay, now we need a splitter right here undergrounds we send it up and everything should be good now this gives me a second source of data from our potentially cheapest insight recipe but we obviously want to prioritize left because the mixed is cheaper when we get when we get it but i would much rather use energy insight when we have it than uh stall our entire science not like we're researching anyway but well one can dream Ooh, we could start going towards energy three. Ooh, Tesla gun. Let's research Tesla gun. Wait, compact beacon. These are good. Wait, what is this? Wait, can I? Ooh. How good is this? I mean, I know we don't leave our rocket very often, but... Or we don't leave the planet very often. Let's see. Where's the RTG? Right, we never use one because they're terrible. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm not that excited about it anymore. <laughs> Unless it's smaller. No, it just sucks. <laughs> it's a 500 kilowatts. Is that the best one? Oh, wait, we eventually get the vanilla one. 750. Yeah, they're terrible. I've just been using the one that came with Tiny Start. Because these are so bad. What is this? Biochemical. I mean, we might as well research these things. Ooh, wide area beacon. 15 module. 15 module slots. That's a lot. That's like 50% better than what we already have, right? No. 
That's almost double. That seems very off. That seems very difficult to avoid overloading. But that seems very efficient. I prefer that over compact, actually. Because this would let us get, like, let's see. Probably this many assembly machines. And more production out of it, so we could... And we could probably do a double layer. I actually don't know how wide the how wide the range is. We might be able to do a double. 14 tiles compared to... What's the normal beacon size? Three. Oh! Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot larger. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like three to five tiles or something. A range of 14 and 50%... No, twice as many modules? That's insane. I like this. Each time you open my equipment grid, you're disappointed by the lack of jetpacks. Do I do I need more than two? <laughs> the the speed improvement from stacking them didn't seem to be that high, so I couldn't justify doing more. <laughs> I need more. Okay, maybe once we get to jetpack mark three. Oh, we already have that one. Jetpack mark. Uh, that's pretty late. Okay, yeah, you're right. We need to get more jetpacks. We'll add that to the list. Where is the list? There it is. More. Jetpack. There we go. I'll screw that. Sc screw that. Scroll through that, and when it's uh, when I see the all caps, I'll know that it's important. Okay, so apparently, let's let's look if there's any tasks we missed. Hera needs part delivery. That requires us to go there, actually, or send building materials. Blank data cards. We did do that one. LDS galore. I don't actually know if I need this one. This is one of those things that was more a our base wasn't working situation, so I don't know if we actually need that one. Holmium for energy. We did do that. Core mining on canoe. I don't know if we need that. We definitely didn't do it. Contaminated scrap recycling. We did do this one. Sulfur for thermofluids, no rocket. What does that mean? What's a thermofluid? Does anybody have guesses on what that could possibly mean? Maybe it's saying I need I didn't have a sulfur rocket yet, or maybe it's saying I wanted to be able to use the artillery like shell thing delivery cannon. The artillery delivery cannons. I have no guess. <laughs> That's my guess. Uh, send beryllium ingots to space. Okay, that one's done. This one's done. Recycle beryllium sand. Yes. Hot bar. Yeah, that, we're never doing a hot bar. Light oil and turrets. Uh, that one's not done. Expand artillery. Yes. Because we got the big burfa. You're saying I need a sulfur rocket, but I have a sulfur rocket. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to... No rocket either is saying I didn't have a rocket when I typed it, or it's saying I wanted to have a solution that didn't use a rocket. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll add a question mark here. Actually, we'll just delete it, because I have no idea what that means. This is useless. Because there's a thir there's like a 50% chance that your interpretation is correct, and it's done. So we'll just say it's done. Destroy trash stone. Oh, this one was just a joke. We can we can destroy it, delete it. More recycling in novice orbit. That one's done. Copper junction. I don't think we ever did the copper junction. So when I said copper junction, that is like this copper system that we have. I wanted I wanted to do that for copper too. But I think we realized we didn't need a ton of copper. So uh, we haven't, I don't think we ended up doing that. Auto iron. Yeah, I don't think we did a copper adapter. Because we found, we found more copper to work with. Okay, so we'll leave that because we will need it at some point. Glass redistribution. That one's like partially done. We, we send glass to this central point, which gets sent throughout my entire base. Uh, we also have glass misspelled. It's called glad temporary is the main glass distribution, which is a weird, mentally a, an odd choice. 
but it does work. Let's see, is beryllium stalled? Yep, beryllium is stalled, okay. Huh, so I don't think we're sending these in the right ratio. <laughs> was this before we had a proper ratio? Why would this have happened? Why would this have happened? Hmm, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, if we send this, this might work. Let's see, what ratio do we have? Uh, I am sending them in a 1 to 10 ratio. So if I had to guess, that was before I started sending them in, an, in a proper ratio. Because technically it's like 1 to 10 minus half a rocket. We wouldn't have 17 extra capsules though in that case. So there's something else going on. Uh, I, this is... Yeah, I don't know how we fix this. How do I fix this? Okay, I think I know how to fix this. We change this to less than 20. We clear the rocket. Then we set it back to 1. There we go. Okay, so now this rocket is cleared, so whenever this rocket is full, it will auto-launch. Which... I have set to 209, so it should be happening, like, right now. Oh my gosh, it's missing a single rocket section. <laughs> Why did you choose 1 to 10? Good question. I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's... Oh, I guess it would be 1 to 9, wouldn't it? It's too late now, though. Wait, is it 1 to 10? Sorry, 1 to 20. Sorry, sorry, 1 to 20. <laughs> uh, but it actually would be 9 to... Uh, it would actually be 9 to 200, or 0. 0.9 to 20, because I was not accounting for the rocket, the capsule that's inside the rocket. Okay, that sounds better. Technically, we also have the 600, or the 60 capsules, or uh, parts that I recover, but I don't, I don't think we can really account for that in a reasonable way, so we'll just accept that occasionally we have to do a manual intervention. <laughs> and we should be fine. Okay, so this is waiting on a cargo section. There we go. Please go to the right planet. Ideally, I should have emptied it completely, huh? Oh, we also have to change this number now. I hope my math's right. If we send 200, that's 10 rockets. And then we get 8 capsules. And then we get... Ten so we need 10 capsules to account for that. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we did... Uh, the 10 was accounting for... The 10 was accounting for that. Okay, never mind. We're good. Cool, so we are actually somewhat... We do have some foresight. I'll take it. We take those. Now this is launching the rockets again. Cool. Uh, I don't think we have the rocket part production to be honest, to be able to launch pure beryllium. We, we should have kept refining beryllium here. It's significantly cheaper in terms of, of rockets. Because right now we are probably spending way more on beryllium rockets than we are... Yeah, we're definitely spending more on beryllium rockets than we're saving on prod modules on novice. But eventually this will be cheap enough that it won't matter. But right now it's rough. Each rocket needs a speaker attached to it so that when it fires, there's a delay and it plays the U of 1 sound. <laughs> that, that would be funny. So you, you never, it never stops. Okay, I mean, in theory, this works great. In practice, we need more parts production to make it work. Which, unfortunately, these part production is dependent on beryllium to be cheap, so... Mm. 
So that means in theory it doesn't really work great at all. I think if we add speed modules to these, we're good. And then we definitely don't need speed modules here. Because I feel like we need beacons, which we can't... Well, we can kind of fit them. Yeah, we can fit beacons here. A wide area beacon will fix all of our problems. We'll, uh, we'll add that to the do list. Significantly more rocket parts. Because this is, uh, we're finally at the point where we really need a lot of rocket parts to launch, to launch rockets. And, uh, it's, it's a huge bottleneck. Uh, most of our rockets are taking forever to fill up. At least only half of my parts go to filling the rocket part rocket. But yeah, it's, uh, it's not a great situation. Okay, where... Are there any other important things I can do before I get off? Because I, I can do, like, a small task, but I don't have a ton longer. Reusability tech is huge. That's true. We do have the reusability tech. I guess now, like, each, each research of reusability is, like, a 10... Percent reduction in rocket parts at this point, which is pretty significant. Uh, we can definitely afford to do one, maybe two more. No, well, one more for sure. It does get so expensive, but it's not using uh, it's not using things that go into rocket parts that much when I research. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Have we accounted for this? A moment of truth. Did we set this up properly? Oh god, I hope we set it up properly. We didn't set it up properly. <laughs> this is such an expensive rocket, too. Uh, why is this not set up properly? Ah. I set the wrong filter. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. Um, we need to somehow, do we have an act, if we don't have a pass or, uh, request or chest over here, did, we don't have a great way to get out of this. Huh, unfortunate, okay. Why did that happen, actually? How did that happen? If the rocket crashed, why did 150 of it make it? I don't fully understand what happened here. Wait, if we have filter inserters and belts, I think we can... Okay, I think we can make this work. You can get rocket parts out, to be honest, not capsules. Well, I was shipping capsules. So if there was a crash, capsules would have made it made it through. Okay, this works. Yeah, this works. Okay. Uh, we need to give it capsules. Sections. And regular sections. Not that kind. There we go. Yeah, I'm just confused. Did I actually send two rockets? How could I have sent two rockets? This doesn't make sense. What happened? <laughs> what happened here? Because now this has like 15 capsules in it for some bizarre reason, which is not great. Uh, we Oh wait, we did send, no, we only sent 10 and it has like 200. 
was it not this rocket? Maybe there was like a just some rocket fuel rocket with cargo parts that was accidentally sent. Maybe something was sent here with meteor defense. I've got nothing. Also, this needs meteor defense. Uh, this needs meteor defense ammo. That's not great. Uh, meteor defenses should be automated. Oh wait, it's not automated. Oh my gosh. This is... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we need to clear this. Because I think I don't necessarily need a rocket for meteor defense that has... I don't think we need to send 500 stacks of meteor defense ammo to a single rocket. That's just a vibe I get. <laughs> <laughs> so we were going to clear this, and we're going to give this some logic that says, hey, don't fill it past, um, 1500? Apparently I used to have it set as 1500. Let's do a thousand. Yeah, just 10,000 meter, 10,000 meteors will last a few years. <laughs> I'm I'm nothing if not ambitious, right? <laughs> that, that's something we could that's a word we could use for that. Okay, once those get placed, we can add them. Uh because basically these are gonna have reverse logic. Uh this is gonna empty the rocket back down to a thousand and this one's gonna fill it and then we also need to get this set up which apparently has logic we just didn't connect it so this is gonna be as soon as we attach this wire it's gonna op it's gonna detonate Ooh, what I could do is full nah. wait full is greater than 100 okay wait what's a hundred if I'm doing a thousand, these stack to 20. Okay, we do need to add logic to this though. Okay. I definitely reversed the logic. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now we just wait for it to empty. This is gonna take forever to empty, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's make it a little bit faster. Yeah, it's a very, very well defended rocket. I guess it's not that fast, because it does move half a stack at a time. Which isn't terrible. Uh, that has no rush for it. Okay, so I want 50. I think 50. Honestly, we could do 100. I, I can justify a fifth of a rocket. I definitely, I can't justify an entire rocket. But also, rockets are cheap, so... Yeah, let's just do 50. They launch so infrequently. Perfect. And now these are on logic. Okay. Um, we'll check back on that in a couple minutes. That sh honestly shouldn't take that long. Now that it's set up properly. I still don't know why there was a rocket crash, though. That really did not make any sense to me. Uh, now this is once again... That's way too many capsules. But now this has like three times too many capsules, so... Yeah, that's rough. At least we have a lot of cargo rocket sections, and we have plenty of rocket fuel, which is also not working. Isn't rocket crash just random chance? Well, okay, the reason I'm confused is because there shouldn't have been a rocket at all. So I'm confused where the second rocket came from. Not that it crashed. Like, that part I get. The fact that there was a rocket at all is what confuses me. Because we already sent the rocket part rocket, and it made it here successfully. So what was the second rocket that was sent, and why did it crash? Do I have rocket log mod? I, Unless it's included in the... The default, like, expansion. No. Or it... Yeah, unless it's included in the recommended um, mod pack, it, I do not have that one. It would be useful. <laughs> but yeah, that alien rocket, I would be okay with an alien rocket that sends mystery resources. 
That that's that's cool with me. There's a rocket. There's a simple add-on. Okay, I might add that then. Oh, this does. Oh wait, that's why the rocket's taking so long to fill. <laughs> This is just a temporary thing that we accidentally left in. That doesn't explain the launch, but it, it is weird. Isn't there something like this in Vanilla Essie? I'm not sure. I would guess no, unless the mod just adds a lot more functionality. Okay, and then rocket fuel is obviously not being launched. Uh, where's our rocket fuel rocket? Gosh, it could be anywhere. It really could be anywhere. Because we have... Okay, Rocket Fuel Rocket is here. Okay, so Rocket Fuel Rocket is just filling. Very slowly. Let's make this a stack inserter, actually. That could be useful. I guess it'll just always be a mystery for a while. Because, uh, no idea. <laughs> we Maybe if we can find an error here. Launch on green signal or when cargo full. Cargo full would have been insane if this launched. It would have had to be a manual launch. Or it would have had to get two launches in the same tick. Did I duplicate my rocket somehow? That would have been a, that would be cool. I'd be okay with that bug. Yeah, I got nothing. Oh well. Uh, has the Meteor defense rocket emptied itself yet? Yes. Yes, it has. Greater than, equal to 50. You're not sure you had two launches, to be honest? You had some capsules beforehand? No, I, I did not have any capsules. That, that's why that's why there's the confusion um, there was no rock there was it was completely empty that's why it needed a new rocket uh, I had made sure it was completely empty and then it auto launched because of that because remember we put all of I, I put all of the space capsules onto the belt and now there's like 40 space capsules. No, you also have the mod. Okay. Uh, this doesn't work. Oh, it's ready. Interesting. Okay, I don't know why this isn't launching then. On green signal or in cargo full, it should be getting a green signal. Just to double check, I can just place a wire. No, it's not getting a green signal. There we go. Is the other one working right? Okay, that one's working right. Okay, so meteor defenses should be functional now. Excellent. Hopefully that makes it to the other planet. Not like we were that limited. We had a ton of time. I just wanted to make sure we actually had that set up properly for the planets that do need it. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'll, uh, that mystery will just haunt me forever. Uh, next time we will get beacons and speeds into space and hopefully improve our rocket part production, which is possibly just a resource distribution issue. Hopefully it's not a resource production issue because uh, then we are doomed. <laughs> uh, then there will be a much longer adventure. But I think if we just rebalance what we already have, we can probably make significantly more rocket parts because I don't think they're that expensive. I think they're just slow, like at least by the metric of the resource, by the, by the resource, for the resources we have now. When we started it, they were expensive, but I think now it's just kind of annoying to get. Uh, we could also look into prod fours. Those would give us, well, let's see, this plus this, so that would, uh, that would proc twice. So that would give me an 8% bonus times 2. So it would give me about probably a 10 to 15% bonus in rocket parts for effectively free if we do prod modules as our solution. Which I think prods are pretty cheap, right? Nope. 
Never mind. We don't have we don't have Vegemite. Uh, so that's it for me today. No meme run tomorrow. Uh, I do have an appointment. So we will be doing our meme run Monday on Tuesday again this week. We'll be continuing the no inventory run. And I probably will not be using the car inventory because that seems to be what people want. <laughs> yeah, Vegemite. It's what, it's what I call it. I, I don't think that's... It's definitely not right, but it's fun. But I hope we all have a wonderful evening and I'll see you all next time. Peace.